snow dog. Resubbing for 18 months. That is cray cray. Thank you, snow dog. You're the man. You're the man now. That's amazing, dude. Thank you so much, snow dog. That's incredible. Poetic Android, it doesn't matter if you're here first or not, you're here now. That's all that matters, my man. Razor XG, good evening to you. Sanzian from the future was 8bit.com, proud sponsors of the Westchester Amiga user group, Summer 2019 Games Sig. Welcome. Yo, Razor XG with the seven months of subs, Razor. You're too kind, man. Thank you, thank you so much. Rule of thirds, my man. Great to see you. You got. Don't break the rule of thirds, man. Whatever you do, don't break the rule of thirds. DVD man, 007. Great to see you. Desktop dynamite Malta. The purple haze maker with the raid of 24. Thank you, Purple Haze. I hope your stream was awesome. Sorry I didn't get to join. I was working today and then working right up until I had to start the stream. But thank you for the host, Haze. I hope your stream was great. Fishbot, strong, loving, positive vibes. Laugh Boy, how's it going? Ty Racer. Amiga Love. In the chat. Air Yuri, in the chat, in the hot tub. Acmafin. The Raiders are raiding. The captain's on the bridge. My man, Captain John. Pixels at Dawn Gaming. What's up, buddy? Cybert, the hot tub time machine action. Snow Dog will have to catch the VOD when he gets in. On his way to Tampa. No problem, Snow Dog. Have a safe travel, my man. Safe travels. I wish I could catch some thrust. I want to. I want to check out thrust haze. I want to check it out because um, the game sounds super familiar. I must have played it, so I got. I'll check out your VOD haze. Thank you so much for the raid, dude. I appreciate it so much. Indie retro news, my man. Great to see you, indie retro. It's a pleasure to have you. I'm ready to get going here. Unfortunately, Twitter's down. Twitter's down. I can't do the social media blast on Twitter. I'm gonna make sure I did everywhere else. But we're gonna get started. Until then. Enjoy the P641 demo, D-Crunch 2019, Poland demo party, here we go! Thank you. 
Oh yeah, what's up everyone? It's great to see you. I am back at home, back in my streaming office. So I'm no longer at the, the, the retro dad cave. It was awesome streaming from there. Unfortunately, internet went down on Saturday when we had our Westchester Amiga user group party. Uh, it lasted about 45 minutes and then a block of 15 minutes. It couldn't handle, it couldn't handle WOG. What is, I hope you guys like that demo. That was pretty sweet, right? That was a third place demo at the crunch. And it, I think maybe the reason why I was only third and not first is because it's not finished. But it was it, sweet, sweet demo, right? I think Twitter is broken, guys. I think it's totally broken and smashed. Smashed the bits. I heard Reddit was down today, too. Craziness. The internet meltdown of, of 2019. It can't stand the summer heat. The internet cannot stand the summer heat. <laughs> oh, man. Everyone liked that demo? Nice, dude. Oh, the beard? I just... It's not really a beard. I just... I need to shave. Metal Dirt Monkey, what's up, dude? You like that demo, Fish? It's gonna be awesome. Cyvert! You were at a retro games convention for the first time three weeks ago in Norway. It was awesome. I need to go next year, too. I would love to go to a retro event in Norway. I would love to. We had our own retro event here in New York that I hosted over the weekend. The stuff looks good. Nice. I just, I shaved right before the party, and I haven't shaved since, because I'm just, like, beat. <laughs> oh, man, I'll shave before work tomorrow, so I don't look like a, I don't look like a, I'm homeless walking into work, you know what I mean? Who needs Twitter when we have Twitch? Exactly, Acmefin, exactly. The, the, the tunes sound a little low. But it's par for the course. You know how this goes. So today uh, we've got a, a fun one. I want to. I'm talking about Westchester Music Group Summer 2019 Games Party, and I want to show you guys. I want to show you guys some video from it because, like I said, I was trying to do the stream. It lasted for a little while, but then the internet crapped out. So unfortunately, you guys couldn't enjoy the stream. <laughs> so I'm gonna. I'll give you guys a little recap of the party. It was a really fun one. Uh, and then I also got this. I got a package in the mail right here from my good friend Sir Lucas from Retro Ready One. Uh, he sent some gifts to me and I purchased some things from him. So we'll do a little unboxing. We've got some Amiga goodies in here. Um, and then we'll play some Marble Madness because one of the things that we did at the party is I I, I dug out from uh, from the garage this rad Wyco trackball. So I want to play some trackball games with it. We'll take a look at the trackball and uh, of course play some Marble Madness. I also got Arkanoid queued up and Star Wars. They're all games that use the mouse. And all, in a lot of cases, except for Marble Madness, the mouse is probably a lot easier to use. But I'm just testing out the, the trackball. It's also cool to use it as a mouse. So it's gonna be a little short of a stream today, guys. I gotta, I gotta get up at 3.30 a.m. for work tomorrow. <laughs> so I need to make sure I get some beauty sleep. But it's gonna be, it'll be fun anyway. It's gonna be a fun one. It's just a kind of chilling out. Chilling out, drinking my, my cayenne cleanse. My cayenne pepper cleanse kombucha today. So I'm gonna be drinking this. We'll do some unboxing uh, and we'll, we'll check out some videos. And we'll, of course, we'll do a little, 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 in, a little news sponsored by the Indie Retro News. Oh, nice, Pick Pixels just got some extra memory for the uh, A600, and now is testing some WHD load games. Excellent. You like the beard, Captain? A little Bruce Willis, right? Harry Longbone, how's it going, buddy? Great to see you. Ty Racer is asking if I know how to how to install the Aeon demo from uh, I guess the Black Lotus one. It's only ADF. I haven't tried installing a Ty Racer. I've only played it off a floppy disk. I haven't tried it. Break six six six. It's great to see you. Um, oh nice. Razor XG was on vacation in Mallorca recently. In the airplane, he was listening to the Reshooter soundtrack. It somehow fits very well to flying when there was some uh, some slight turbulence. He puts on the Gaz Escalation Mix. That's a great idea, Razor, because I fly a lot, and even though I, I fly a lot, I'm still like, I get a little nervous when I fly every now and then, especially when there's turbulence. Um, I, I get through the turbulence by watching mountain bike videos, and I pretend I'm on my mountain bike, but the Reshooter, Reshooter sounds great. Pickups, Hayes, you know it, baby. Thanks again for the thanks again for the raid, Hayes. I appreciate it so much. It was uh, great to see you streaming yesterday. I did, I don't I haven't been able to catch many streams of any of my friends lately, so I was glad to pop in for a little while. And I'll check out the thrust. So much thrusting. Hayes did so much thrusting today. <laughs> um, Amiga love hosted the 14th. S-E-A-C-C-C, -C -C. let me guess, Seattle Computer Club, 
Seattle Classic Computer Club. That's my guess for the acronym. Last night, they hooked up an ST to an Amiga and played some head-to-head Lotus 2, Amiga 1. Nice. Oh, we did some head-to-head Lotus 2 at the party, as you'll see. That is so cool, Amiga love. There's nothing like head-to-head null modem cable. You know what I'm saying? Did, did this crash? Let's see. Oh, this the name of this track is uh, a nice and warm day. I'm gonna I'm gonna move on to this one. We're listening. There we go. There we go. There we go. I need like a mod equalizer. Indie Retro News. We got the news coming up right now. Yeah, stunt car racer is a good one too, Hayes. I was gonna do it at WOG. I just, you know, I'm not sure if stunt car works on a. I've never played Stunt Car in a stock Amiga 500 before. It's very possible that it will. Nice, Razor. Excellent, dude. Seattle Commodore Computer Club. Okay, I want Classic. Even better. Hey, Vicky Pixel Vixen. A good evening to you, Vicky. Indie Retro, you want a, a, a good game of Blasteroids? Oh, nice. Amiga Love says uh, the S-E-A-C-C-C pronounced... C, 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 or in Spanish, yes, 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 Commodore, Commodore, Commodore. Good afternoon to you, Retro Tech Dan, it's a pleasure to have you. Air Yuri's summer vacation has started, so it's hot tub chill out time. Nice, Air Yuri. So, speaking of the news, let's get to it. I don't, now I don't have a ton of news queued up for you guys because, um, it's been it's been hectic for me, and I don't know if there's, that there's been like all that much, um, all that much news since the last stream. So let's switch over here. Um, switch over here. Hold on. Switching over to PC mode. I've got I got two two pieces of news, and then I want to show you the videos from my uh, from my party, our party, Westchester Amiga User Group party. We go. Yeah, we good. We good. So, first thing that came up is there is an update to Amiga OS 3.1.4. There's now Amiga OS 3.1.4.1. There's a lot of decimal points happening there. <laughs> um, coming in uh, from Brussels on July 8th, 2019, Hyperion Entertainment CVBA is pleased to announce the immediate availability of Amiga OS 3.1.4.1. Point four point one as a free update to Amiga OS 3.1.4, which was released in September 2018. What's new about the point one? That's a good question. I'm not sure myself. Since then, some bugs were found and functionality reviewed. We are therefore providing updates that address the issues in order to improve the user experience and also added more workarounds to improve compatibility with some oddly behaving programs. Okay, excellent. Um... This is mainly a bug fix update to Amiga OS 3.1.4, however, a few small features managed to slip in. Danish and Swedish Amiga OS catalogs. Setpatch now has the ability to load both an audio device and a shell segment update by itself. Excellent. Audio device got improved compatibility with some non-standard programming practices. I don't know who does non-standard programming practices, but I like it. I like it. I like it when you go rogue, baby. Standard standards for the week. <laughs> HD Toolbox now suggests more adequate block sizes for large drives. CrossDOS is now more tolerant to wrongly configured mount lists and foreign character sets. Uh, tolerance is key. Tolerance is key. Excellent, CrossDOS. Glad you're becoming more tolerant. Of course, we managed to address many more bug fixes. The changelog is more than 260k large and covers components such as the CD file system. The new intuition support, audio device, disk support, format, fast file system, and HD toolbox, the shell, several Amiga DOS commands, disk doctor, and many more components. Amiga OS 3.1.4.1 is available as a free download from the restricted download area to all registered customers of Amiga OS 3.1.4. Excellent. So I'll, I'm gonna I, I'm I'm gonna actually get a second 1200. Oh my god! Look at this. My overhead cam's all 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 wacky. All wacky do. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna have a machine set up just for like 3.1.4 and check it out. For now, I'm still rocking the 3.1 on this 1200. Um, so yeah, that's 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 pretty big news in the Amiga community right there. Yo, Epper81, thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. I'm Bill. I stream Amiga stuff, usually from Real Amigas. Um, streaming from my Amiga 1200 today. Um, my streams are kind of. I was thinking about this before the stream. These streams are kind of like more like podcasts. You know, they're, it's like half podcast, half gaming. 
So I, d I definitely do a fair share of gaming, but I just I like to hang out with uh, my friends, talk Amiga. They're like user group meetings, like virtual online user group meetings, you know? Because I got the most amazing people in the world that show up over here in the chat. They, they know a heck of a lot more about Amiga than I do. Um, also have a YouTube channel, I do with my buddy Anthony, called The Guru Meditation. It's youtube.com slash The Guru Meditation. We got a hot new video dropping on Monday, this coming Monday. I'm gonna finish up the edit on Saturday night. Wow, there's some thunder happening outside. I hope the stream lasts. There's some strong thunder outside. Fingers crossed the, the stream doesn't go down again. If the stream abruptly goes out, it's because it's because of the thunder. That that one just shook the house. That was crazy. But yeah, new Guru video dropping on Monday. It's uh, Joe DeCure 2.0. <laughs> no, hopefully there won't be any flags on the play this time. Uh, it's really cool. Uh, we had uh, an Amiga tribute to Jay Miner, the father of the Amiga, at this past Vintage Computer Festival East, and Mr. Joe DeCure was the keynote speaker and he came over to check out our booth and uh, we did an on the fly interview with him it's about 20 minutes long and it's really good like he really goes into like th his beginnings with Amiga all the beginnings of Amiga with him and Jay uh, he talks about how uh, they were taking parts from the Atari 8-bit computers and implementing them into the Amiga 1000 so it's gonna be it's gonna be a good video so I encourage you to check out the Guru on, on Monday morning I'm gonna upload it pretty early because I gotta be I gotta be at work by 10 a.m. on Monday morning. So that's I'll probably be uploading it around like 6 a.m. New York time. So yeah, check it out. Get it while it's hot. Maybe maybe we'll even do a sneak peek today. Maybe we'll do a little sneak peek today. Um, Indie Retro News says it's Commodore 64 and Indie Week. Oh, excellent Indie Retro News. We're gonna but you I saw I saw right before the stream you did a little a little announcement. So we're gonna we're gonna check that one out. Hey, what's up, Ash? It is great to see you, Ash. Ash, you're you're rocking your streams. Congrats on the new overlay. Uh, you're doing you're doing great over there, Ash. I'm I'm so happy to have met you, and I can't wait to to get your dad's uh, Amiga working again. That's going to be super super fun. We have to uh, get together one day. Next Westchester Amiga user group meeting is happening most likely on August 1st. That's what the schedule is. But I got to see what my work schedule is. Um, but yeah, we got to get your dad's Amiga 500 going. <laughs> 3.1.4.1.2.1 <laughs> Pi. You know it, Hage. That's hilarious. I'm having a dope day, Ash. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, it's crazy thunder just now. Oh, Monster Joysticks. Sorry, I missed it. What's up? Monster Joysticks. Monster, your joystick was a big hit at the Westchester Amiga Use Group uh, games meeting over the weekend. Everyone really, really enjoyed it. They, uh, hopefully, you'll get some sales out of it. People were super psyched about your stick. Oh, not, yeah, I know. It's been hectic for me, too, Monster. It's been really hectic. I'm trying to squeeze in a stream every now and then when I can, you know? Um, let's see. So here's what Indie Retro News posted just just moments before the stream. Anthor 2, The Legend of the Birdmen, a new adventure game coming to the Amiga. If you're bored about hearing about action games and platformers, then listen up. All right, I'm not bored. I could, Bring on the action games and platformers. I'm not bored, but I'm going to listen up anyway, Indie Retro. I'm listening. You got me. You got my attention. <laughs> uh, Indie Retro has just found out that Safar Games will be bringing the text-based adventure game Anthar 2, The Legend of the Birdman, to the Atari ST and Commodore Amiga with the game being programmed in C. This game that is currently being shown in French is a sequel to the 2015-2016 game Anthenor that was also released on the Amstrad CPC, Auric, and yes, even the Commodore 64. Although the preview footage above is currently in French and previewed on the Amiga, ST footage also available, Anthor 2 will not only feature a typical 80s style north-south east command interface of adventure games of old, but from what we can tell, unlike the first game, it will also feature full mouse control and rich dialogues and phases of gameplay. As for the team behind this upcoming game, they are Francois Guthers for the Atari SD graphics, Angel Bautista for the illustrations, and Irv Moncharte did the music. Sorry I butchered all the names. <laughs> I'm terrible. I'm awful. Sorry I butchered them. Uh, detailed info, the video shows the game running directly on the scenario of data of the Atari ST version. Uh, all data are managed in Python and rejected, oh, so re-injected in the C project. The graphics, uh, GUI, and sceneries are in 32 colors specifically converted to the Amiga OCS. The sprites are temporarily on touch bit maps of the Atari ST version. This video shows the first basic routine to handle the game inventory. The player can grab objects. They are added to the inventory. If an object 
is in the inventory is considered to be in the hand of the player, thus simplifying greatly the game's puzzles. This is temporary as well. Um, cool. Well, let's check it out. Let me just... Um, let me just uh, temporarily turn off the the music. Hold on, I have to go in. Don't stop the music ever. I'm gonna stop the music for a minute, and then uh, and we'll play this video. There we go. Pause the hippo player. If you want to know what music we're playing, do exclamation mark music. All right, let's switch back over to PC. It's so it's so weird being like back home, being back home in my stream lair instead of the retro dad cave. <laughs> Ash, I am I'm gonna play I'm gonna play Marble Madness today, Ash, and I'm gonna play some Arkanoid and maybe some Star Wars too. But it's gonna be like an hour. It'll probably be like an hour before I start playing the games. Maybe a little bit less. It's three twenty four now. About four four fifteen, I'll start playing the games. So if you want, if you're into the games, you want to see the games, uh, come on back around then. Um, we're gonna do. I'm gonna check out this trailer now. I'm gonna show some video from the Westchester Amiga User Group Games Meeting, and we're gonna we're gonna unbox some Amiga goodies from Retro Ready One, Sir Lucas, my man. Let's. Um, I'll tell you more about them in a minute. But let's go full screen here and let's check out this video. The graphics look awesome. Oh wow. Music is great too. Wow. I don't know what that was sweet. <laughs> oh man. Oh man, that game looks amazing. Sweet. Well, thank you, Indie Retro News, for the heads up about that game. I'll keep my eye on it. I hope I hope they come out with an English version. Obviously, the game looks beautiful, um, but I you know I won't be able to play it because I don't I don't know French. But I imagine there'll be some English involved too. I imagine you know what I'm saying. It looks good. It looks real good though. <laughs> Only up to the minute news on Amiga Bill streams. <laughs> Pixels at dawn exactly. Oh, Fishbot, you like the adventure stuff? I'm, I'm, I like the adventure stuff too. That one in particular looks, looks beautiful. Made in France, Tie Racer. Good stuff. You can do the translation. Sin Lao, what's up, buddy? I did say hippo, because I'm rocking the hippo player right now. Star Wars, yeah. Star, I'm gonna, I think Star, so. Star Wars is a mouse game, and I think it'll work well with this trackball. That's my guess, but I haven't tried it yet. Yeah, you want to? I'm ready to do the unboxing now. Tie Racer played some mod AIFF files on a CD32, quality not far from MP3. Oh, I would like to hear that. That is awesome. No worries, Ash. I I forget what I even had for lunch, so. <laughs> Yeah, right. Amazing music, right, Fishbot? Awesome, Ash. Thank yeah, thanks again, Indy. So, Ash, that was that's a new game that's coming out for the Amiga. Someone's there's a lot of new games that have been coming out for the Amiga. Like we're so lucky to have so many people making new games, and that's like a new adventure game. Uh, what we're looking at here, it's called the Hippo Player, and it's playing mod files. Uh, these mod files were given to me by DJ Billy Nest of the Vintage Computer Society of Athens, who are actually meeting right now as we speak. They might even be watching the stream as we speak. DJ Billy Ness will be with us um, in a little while after the after he comes back from the meeting. If you um, if you want to know the name of the the music, just do exclamation mark music. I feel like the mix is a little low though. It's some like ambient trip hop jungle music. Uh, summertime is a good time for jungle music. I remember summer '98. I used to listen to so much Goldie Timeless. Thanks, Ty. Yeah, hey, it's tricky. It's tricky because all these mod files have different levels. Like, not only is each file a different level, but there's different levels like within the files. So, it's like you have to kind of have to live mix it. It's kind of difficult, <laughs> and I don't do it very well. 
AJD live. What's up, dude? Great to see you. You like the jungle drone base? Nice. Yeah, Ash, dude, there are so many games coming out for the Amiga now. It's, it's awesome. I'm ready to do a little unboxing. What do you guys say? So, actually, let me let me prepare this for you. I want to give a big shout out here. Let me get ready. Let me get ready here. Retro ready one. So check it out. Uh, my friend Sir Lucas, who is one of the nicest people I've ever met in the entire Amiga community, he is one of the founders of Ami Party, uh, the the legendary party in Poland that's coming up again in August. Uh, he is also part of the Amiga Ireland podcast. Uh, all around amazing guy. Uh, one of the nicest people I've ever met. He started his own store called RetroReady.1. If you want to know where to buy the stuff, do exclamation mark shop in the chat. And there's three amazing stores that pop up. There's the future is 8bit.com, which we'll get to in a minute. Uh, there is... Um, my brain isn't where... There's RetroReady1, and there's... Um, I'll tell you what else there is. Retro Bench, that's it. Of course, of course, the Retro Bench. <laughs> Retro Bench, you know, uh, we'll be talking about him soon as well. Uh, selling recap kits and all different parts for the Amiga. But those are three of my friends. Those are three really, really good uh, rep websites if you want to buy Amiga stuff. Um, you can see here they've got accelerators and memory expansion, all different kinds of accessories, adapters, interfaces, uh, networking cards. If you want to hook your Amiga up to the internet, yes, you can actually do that. Um, so I encourage you to, to go check out um, RetroReady.1, TheFutures8Bit.com, and RetroBench.com. All three of them are great friends of mine. RetroReady1 is Sir Lucas uh, from, from Poland, but he lives in the UK now. TheFutures8Bit.com is Rod and Tim from the UK. And RetroBench is uh, my buddy Scott, also from the UK. All, all, they're all big guys in swag. RetroBench and TheFutures8Bit, they're all, they're all big swag members. Southwest Amiga User Group. I gotta get out there. DJ Bill, right? <laughs> That's funny. That is funny. Thanks, Hayes. I appreciate that. Thank you, buddy. Um, yeah, Ash, you have to check out IndieRetroNews.com, and you can check out all the new games that are coming out. Not just for Amiga, but for Commodore 64, Amstrad, Zed, X Spectrum. <laughs> oh, man. You should, Fishbot. You should totally do that. I need to import Robbie Abbott to DJ my live streams. You, exactly. Exactly, Pixels. Great job, Captain John. I forgot the news commands. I forgot about that. <laughs> oh, Pixels now is real hardware and can go buy Worthy and play it on the real hardware. Congrats, Pixels. That is great. Yeah, it is, Amiga Love. And Sir Lucas is, like I said, he's one of the nicest guys in the biz. I love him. Yo. Icarus is now filing is now following. Thank you for the follow. Thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate that very much. We're about to open up some stuff from RetroReady.1. Let's go here. Alright, we're still good. So I got the it came in a little box. So um, Sir Lucas contacted me, and as you know, a, a really generous man uh, by the name of Roberto Rogel, he sent an Amiga twelve hundred to Sammy Halaby. If you don't if you don't know who Sammy Halaby is, she's an amazing a world-renowned painter who also programs her Amiga 1000. Uh, she's an artist that lives here in New York. She's in the Guggenheim. She's she's absolutely incredible. Uh, I did a little video about her on the Guru Meditation YouTube channel. Quahas, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it so much. Welcome to the stream. Um, so he sent over a stock Amiga 1200, and Sir Lucas saw the stock 1200 and said, you know what? You need some extra things for that 1200. And also, actually, RetroBench sent over some amazing stuff for Sammy as well. So we're building here like an incredible 1200. So Sir Lucas sent over this box of goodies. Some of it is going to Sammy, and some of it I purchased from him. I just wanted to like, I wanted to give back a little bit to Sir Lucas. And there's some things I wanted for this 1200. So let's see what's inside. The 1200 is looking good, right? DJ Billy Nest, 
is in the chat. We're listening to your mix, DJ Billy Ness. Thank you for the awesome music. Retro Shred music. What's up, Retro Shred? Let me take a drink and we'll start opening up this box. All right, let's see, let's see what's in the box. Very well packaged. There was uh, some paper on the outside of the box that I already cut open because last time I, I tried to do an unboxing stream, I couldn't even like open the paper. It was so um, wrapped so well. This just in from Retro Ready. Open this sucker up. Oh, wow. Let's see what we got here. Oh, okay, so this, these are the things that I've ordered. Let's check it out. So this is this is so rad. So inside, inside this Amiga 1200, I've got a ribbon cable that holds my compact flash card on. I replaced the hard drive with a compact flash card, so it's kind of like having um, a solid state drive, essentially. Um, and But there's like a ribbon on it, and it just kind of flops around. It's all like floppy floppy. You don't want your compact flash card flopping around inside the 1200. So this is this adapter allows you to um, plug, so you put your compact flash card right in here, uh, and then you can put this right onto the IDE controller. So it's just a super elegant way to mount the compact flash card um, into into your 1200. So this is this is gonna be sweet. This is gonna uh, be it's gonna be really handy too because I bring this 1200 with me all over the place. It's it's always traveling on the road, and I feel like this is like a safer way. This will make it a little bit safer. So there's no compact flash card flopping around on the inside of my 1200. So this this is a really 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 sweet device um, that I picked up from Metro Ready. And if I'm not mistaken. I might be mistaken, but I feel like I feel like uh, this device was made in Poland by uh, by one of my friends from Ami Party, but I'm not 100% sure about that. <laughs> but a sweet a sweet device nonetheless. I can't wait. I'm gonna do a Guru uh, meditation video where I install it. It's super easy to install. Just pop it onto the IDE controller and pop on your compact flash card, and you're good to go. You like the music retro shred? Yeah, it's it's courtesy of DJ Billy Nest. He gave it all to me. I do exclamation mark music, and you can see it. DJ Bellin says, greetings from the members of the Vintage Computer Society. We had a meeting in our club today to get ready for the Game-a-thon Summer 2019 gaming events. We were testing consoles and Amiga 1200 to be ready for the event. I wish I could go to that DJ Bellin If you got a website or something, uh, definitely throw it down in the, in the, in the chat. It's really cool. Yo, Balto. Yo, yo, yo. What is up, my man? Great to see you. Amiga love to you as well. Let's see. Oh, oh no way. He sent a second one. Oh, he sent. They're different colors. Rad. So you can get. Uh, there's a black one and a green one. That is so cool. So I'll I'll keep one for myself uh, and I'll give one to Samia. That was a little extra bonus. I purchased one from Sir Lucas, but he threw in a little extra something something for me. Thank you, Sir Lucas. Uh, cause th this black one is going to go sweet with my CD32 style case when I build that 1200. That's going to be sick. Um, the retro bench is going to hook me up with uh, with a new 1200. I'm going to purchase from him and he's going to recap it for me. And I'm going to go with the, with the black compact flash ID adapter inside that machine. And I'll give, I'll give Sammy the green one. That is super, super cool. Oh, no worries, Vicky. No worries. Giveaway. <laughs> I, I, I'm due for another giveaway, uh, Hazemaker. I did some giving away at, at the at the WOG party because I've I've got too much stuff and you know I want to share it. I don't want to like if I can't if I can't if I'm not gonna use the stuff like within a year I might as well give it to someone who's gonna appreciate it. You know, so I gave away a brand new well, it wasn't brand new but boxed original directory opus to my man Mike who drove all the way in from Pittsburgh. Gave away some stuff. I'm gonna give away more stuff too. <laughs> um. Let's see what this is. Oh, so this, it says this is the A1208 version 1.1 memory expansion for the Amiga 1200. So um, this is eight megabytes of fast RAM for the Amiga 1200. It goes in the trap door. Oh, gotta be careful here. I didn't, wanna, I didn't wanna ruin my lighting. Let's open this sucker up and see what's inside. This is for Samia because Samia's uh, 1200 is stock. So it's got two megabytes of chip RAM and that's it. So Sir Lucas is like, you know what? Sammy needs some fast RAM up in here. And this was the whole impetus for the transaction. Sir Lucas is like, I want to send Sammy some RAM. It's now I've got an accelerator in my 1200, but they're they're kind of hard to come by these days, unfortunately. Uh, so this is going to be really good for her. 
That is nice. That is a nice, elegant little piece right there. Eight megabytes of fast RAM. Going to Samia. Of course, I'm gonna document all that as well. Samia's ready. She's like, she's got her 1200 out. She's like, I wanna, I wanna start learning how to program this sucker. The Amiga 1000 giveaway confirmed. I well, the, I'll tell you, <laughs> I do have two 1000s up Hayes, but one of them's not working, and my my goal is to um to get that working. And as you'll see in the video, I I use all my stuff. I'll package that properly. <laughs> but thank you, Sir Lucas. So let's see if it's here on the website. Um, it's probably. It is the here we go. This is what I just opened up. The A1208 8 megabyte expansion uh, RAM for the Mega 1200. 9499 pounds. That is a very generous gift that Sir Lucas gave to Samia. Um, if you get guys, if you want to buy any stuff, hit exclamation mark shop, and there's lots of lots of good stores to buy Amiga stuff from there, including RetroReady.1. It's eight megabyte. It's two megabytes to chip RAM. Uh, come in an Amiga 1200, and this is an 8 megabyte expansion. Nice Amiga love, welcome back. It's never a bad thing to watch me with food and beer. Captain John, it's um, so it's 94 pounds 99 cents if that's what you call it. 8 megabytes for the 1200. It does look like the ACA 1221, right? I know you're joking, Hayes. I know. <laughs> but I still, I, I, I like to get stuff into the hands of people that are going to use it, you know? Harry Longbone. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to play games, like I said, around 4.15. So that's in like 30 minutes. 415, 430, we'll be playing games. But uh, we're starting to stream out with news and then an unboxing and then we'll recap of the party. And then we'll play some we'll play some games. I know, out of stock is. If you already have an ACA twelve third symbol, what advantage does the eight megabytes give you? It's really this is if you don't have an accelerator already, Hazemaker. Like her her Amiga is, is stock. And it, the accelerators are really hard to come by right now, especially like the ACAs aren't being produced right now. So if you just want to get some extra RAM, this is a really good thing to get. Um, if you don't, if, if you don't, if you can't get the uh, the ACA. Yo, AJD Live is a big Amiga fan. Add us. Awesome. Welcome. We're all Amiga fans here too. Welcome AG Day AJD Live. Oh, got you. Alright, good good call, uh good call, Vicky. I saw that switch on yeah, good call, Vicky, thank you. You like the music, Ash? And Ash and I'm playing the music directly from my, my Amiga twelve hundred. Let's see what else we got here. This is the oh okay so this one is from Rastport. This is uh, my friend uh, from from Poland uh, who I met at Ami party. This is the KO2 external PC MCI adapter. This is gonna be super cool. I'm really excited about this one. Whoa. Oh wow. Oh my god. So his name is Krashen. And he's the gentleman that makes these. Check this out. I'm gonna show you why this is cool in a second. As soon as I get it open. Let me just get the scissors so I can cut it. Retro Ready One and Rasport, they don't mess around, man. Like their stuff is packaged really, really well. My guess is that this product went from Poland to the UK, UK to New York. That's just my guess, because I know Krashen is from from Poland, Czech Polska. Now this is so rad. This is uh, a PC MCIA 
to compact flash adapter. And check, so check this out. I can slide the Amiga over a little bit. Carefully. If you look here, uh, this is the PC at PC MCI to compact flash adapter that I'm using now. Um, and this one, it, it sticks out, right? It sticks out kind of far on the left side. So this little device will go in here and it won't stick out at all. It will be like almost flush with the side of the Amiga. So this is just like a, this is a super elegant solution. I can't, I want to try this out before the stream is over. This is so rad. <laughs> this is so rad. So instead of having uh, this thing stick out here, you can just put it in and it's going to sit up almost flush against the side of the Amiga. This is, this is a sweet, sweet, sweet little device. I love it. It comes from rastport.com, made in Poland, like like my wife. <laughs> hey, what's up, Jaro Slaw? Fast RAM. Pirates is a great game, AJD. Jaro Slaw, yeah, Crashin. Crashin's the man. Super bubble wrap stream. They do have great gadgets here. Yo, Loafzy666. Thank you for the follow, Loafzy. It's a pleasure to have you. I'm Bill, streaming Amiga stuff. Um, my streams, like I was saying, my streams are kind of like half podcast, half gaming streams. Uh, and that's kind of what I like. I just, I love broadcasting. My dad teaches broadcasting. I grew up listening to talk radio and. I, I just, I love it. So the, my streams are like, we do all kinds of stuff. We do news, we do interviews with game developers, interviews with all kinds of people. Um, we, we do gameplay, which we're going to be doing in a little while. Uh, right now we're doing a little unboxing from Retro Ready One. Some cool Amiga pickups. You could pop that baby in straight away and hot plug it, Vicky says. I know, Vicky, but I get nervous, Vicky. I, I, whenever I'm plugging anything in and out of an Amiga, even though it's, I know you can do the hot swap PCMCA, I, I get nervous. I turn it off. I turn it off. I get very nervous, Vicky. <laughs> oh, Pixel of Dawn says, don't remove your PCMCI devices while your Amiga is powered on. Uh, technically, you can, but I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't like to do it. Vivas Poland was once part of, of them, yes. I don't think that was by choice, though. Maybe you're lucky. But, well, Vicky, theoretically, you should be able to do it. Oh, nice, Hayes. You love talk radio. That's, that's what I love about streaming, I and mean, you're a great streamer too. And I, I just, I love, I love talk radio. I still listen to talk radio. Uh, my dad was a radio engineer uh, for a talk radio station, a talk radio show here in New York City. Um, so I grew up listening to talk radio, and that's what that's streaming is is my my way to get on the airwaves. <laughs> Jaroslaw, man, I, I love Poland. Kolham Polska. I've been to Ami Party, uh, what, two times? Unfortunately, I, I would love to go again this year. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to. Um, we've been there, I see, my wife is from Lublin. I'm not sure where you're from, but I, I've i been to Poland about 16 times maybe now, over the years, and I, I love it. It's like one of my favorite places to visit. Everyone there is super, super nice and friendly and welcoming and amazing, amazing uh, Amiga users. As you can see here, Crashin made this amazing device. There's all kinds of amazing stuff going on in Poland. Like the, the Amiga scene in Poland is, is unbelievable. Unbelievable. Yeah, I know, I know, Sansi, and they were definitely, PCM side devices were designed to allow the user to swap cards while the computer was still running, but I don't, I don't, this sucker, this sucker's old, man. I just turn it off. I, I'm old school, too. Like, when anything's getting plugged in or out, I like to turn it off. Caesar the Geezer on UK Talk Radio used to be uh, big up on Amiga all the time. Even while the Commodore was gone. Oh wow! I never heard of Caesar the Geezer. We didn't have him here, but it sounds amazing. <laughs> we got something else in the box. Oh, look at this! It's amazing. So um, this is uh, a PC MCI uh, Ethernet adapter. Get your Amiga 1200 online. Your Amiga 600 online. Uh, this is a very, very kind bonus from Sir Lucas. Um, from Retro Ready One, I, I gotta get this 1200 online. I had it online at one point because I, I got another card from Sir Lucas um, at Ami Party, um, and now he's he's gifted this one to Samia. So that that is super cool. Sir Lucas, 
You rock, dude. Thank you, Sir Lucas. Junculia Barzo. Plug and play since 1993. Hilarious. Oh, you're from War Warsaw, the biggest Amiga scene in Europe. I've I've never been to any of the Warsaw parts. I, I uh, the opening, um, the opening demo I played today was from D Crunch. It was amazing. Andy Amiga Seven, my man. How are you? Oh, Twitter's back. Oh, may I should tweet tweet out the stream. Andy, we missed you at the party. Amiga love. Says that he loves listening to you guys, NPR, some sports. There's only one music station in Seattle I can stand as non-commercial NPR run music too. Lucky to have NPR stations here. Yeah, NPR is great, Amiga Love. I love it. That is some real Amiga Love. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Four PCM size slots so you can have everything at one time. Indie Retro, I, I, I'm a big fan of Atari, as you'll see in a minute. I love the Atari 8 bits. The 800 was my first computer. Holy crap. Stig's World. My man, I haven't seen you in ages, Stig's. I hope you're well. It's awesome to see you, Stig's World. It's been forever. Wow, Stig's. Great stuff. I think a wireless LAN adapter for the Mi 1200 would be nice. They're, they do have wireless adapters for the 1200. It would be very nice. So, so that that's it. I think, I think. That's it. Sir Lucas from Retro Ready One, thank you so much um, for the for the, all this amazing stuff and the extra bonuses. Uh, let's see, we got, let me take all the stuff out. We can get a nice picture of it all. This, this is this is a good haul right here. I'm great, Stiggs. Thank you, man. It's great to see you. Hey, what's up, Retro Ralph? Maybe it's easier to see it that way. There we go. That that is a great haul from Retro Ready One. We got the two compact flash to IDE adapters. Uh, we got the, um, the Ethernet, PCM, say, Ethernet card. We got the memory expansion. And we also got the PCM, say, the compact flash adapter, the 90 degree adapter, which is super, super sweet. So, huge thanks to Sir Lucas and Retro Ready One. Thank you. Thank you for your generosity, Sir Lucas, and thanks for being awesome. He, when I first met Sir Lucas, he was described to me by Kogos as the nicest Amiga user. <laughs> and I, I, I agree, Sir Lucas is a, is, a, is a gentleman. Amiga Love says, I must admit, when we had the ST and Amiga Fometer next to each other, obviously the Amiga look and ran games perfectly, and the Atari lacking hardware sprite showed. But the computer design, gorgeous. And the Atari CRT had the blackest blacks I've ever seen. Insane color contrast, beautiful. That's awesome Amiga love. I would love to, have, I hope you took some pictures. I haven't seen any pictures of that. I would love to see some pictures of that. No problem, Andy. <laughs> when you pull out all the PC MCA from your Commodore Amiga while running, it teleports you to another dimension. Hey, sorry, sorry if I didn't explain it well. Um, so this one here is, it's just a right angle. It's a PC MCI to compact flash adapter. And it's exactly what this one is here, if you see my left finger pointing to it. Um, except he designed this to be a right angle. So when you plug it in, like like so, it fits up flush against the side of the Amiga instead of sticking out. When, you know, when it sticks out, it can get caught on something. Uh, if, and if you have a more permanent setup, this is awesome. It just takes up less desk space. Uh, it doesn't get caught. It's a, it's a really like elegant solution. Uh, and it's made by uh, by Rasport.com, uh, my man Crashin from Poland, who's got lots of cool devices. If you want to see Crashin, I did some interviews with him over on the Guru Meditation YouTube channel. Go to youtube.com slash guru meditation and, uh, and you'll see Crashin. I did a couple interviews with him at, at Emmy Party. He's a genius. Retro Ralph, I, we'd love to have you at our user group. <laughs> Quick. 
Qua Quahas just bought my 1200. Hope to pimp it out for the Ami party. Awesome. Congratulations on your 1200. That is amazing. Huge congrats. I hope I, I, I don't know if I'm going to, I don't think I'm going to make the Ami party this year, but take some pictures. You never know though. In the 11th hour, I might, I might make an appearance. Haha, <laughs> Crimson is D, of course. So use the Atari CRT with the Amiga. That's hilarious. DJ Billy Ness says, I'm equipped like a lobster. Samuel will love the expansion memory. Send her our greetings from Greece and the Vintage Computer Society Club. I will do that, DJ Billy Nest. Rule of Thirds has a great point. He said, the right angle design is great. I love a redesign of the ACA 500 Plus that's more like that. Yeah, because the ACA 500 Plus really sticks out pretty far. <laughs> I'm with you, uh, Rule of Thirds. I'm with you. That would, be, that would be a really sweet, really sweet setup. Yo, Indie Retro News, thanks so much for hanging out. It's a pleasure to have you. Thanks for the indie, all the, the news every week, every day. It's a pleasure to have you here, Indie Retro. Guys, go check out IndieRetroNews.com um, for all the, the latest and greatest news in the, in the Indie Retro computing world. Amiga Love, uh, me and Rekta Pete are talking about having like an exhibit, just kind of like you did. I, I got to pick your brain about it. You got it from Slovakia. You got your 1200 from Slovakia. Nice, nice. What kind of ca oh a cable to go from the Amiga to the Atari ST monitor? That'd be that'd be sick. All right, guys, let me move this out of the way, and I'm gonna show you just a little bit of video from the party, and then we'll play some games. 3:55. Okay, cool. I'm in New York, so it's 3:55 p.m. New York City time. That is, that is an awesome pickup. That's a good day. That is a good day right there. The music seems a little low, right? All these, all these mods, all these different mods. It's crazy. Let me get a little drink here. Oh my god, green screen fell over there. Oh, because the box is making a shadow. All right, so what I was gonna do now, it, um, I was gonna show you guys a little video from the party that we had over the weekend, just because um, the stream failed, and I felt really, really bad about the stream failing. So I just wanted to show you guys a little video so you got a feel for what the, the Westchester Mega User Group meeting was all about. I hope that's all right with you, and then we'll play a little Marvel Madness. The video, I'm gonna show you is like five minutes. I could always make it longer, of course. All right, let me. I'm gonna close all this stuff. Perfect. Uh, don't switch the audio device. We'll keep this going like that. Oh look, I'm streaming Commodore Amiga. Uh, let's open up the Premiere. Thanks everyone for hanging out today. It is a pleasure to spend time with you all. My next stream will probably be next week. I'm working. Basically every day, I have one day off between now and next Friday, and I got my eye on Wednesday for the next stream. That's the one bad thing about, well, one of the bad things about my streams is that uh, you never know when I'm going to stream. <laughs> it's my schedule, it's my crazy work schedule. Uh, thanks, thanks for being here. I just have to rearrange the windows on my Premiere. I have set for two. Uh, my workspace is set for two monitors, so I gotta put it back to, to one monitor. Let's see, all panels. There we go. Excellent. All right, so I'm gonna leave the music on. I don't know how loud this is gonna be. Let's check it out. Nice haze. I love it. So I hope I hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, I'm just gonna give you yo Jost 80, my man. How's it going, Jost? Um, this video is six minutes long. I can scrub through it, but this is where I give a little tour of like what we had at the uh, at the party. Um, first up here on the right, uh, we were projecting 16 millimeter film because we, you know, I'm a filmmaker, so obviously I love film. And my man Thierry here is hardcore into film as well. And we we're retro, man. We like anything old, so we were projecting 16 millimeter 
films, which was a blast. Uh, and we had a Vampire V4 here. I shot this little tour after the Vampire left. But we had a Vampire V4 standalone, which is super cool. Um, I think it's the only one in the United States that we had. It was a, a real privilege to have that. Um, didn't shoot a lot of video of it. I'll do a, a proper video about the Vampire V4 when it's closer uh, to its release date. Um, but let's take a quick look at this. Welcome to the, the 2019 Westchester Migizu Game Sig. We call it a Game Sig. It's a special interest group. We used to have uh, music back in the day. We used to have desktop publishing, uh, graphics video, and then yeah. So what I'm talking about here is yo yo. What's up, Sarah? Great to see you. The Candy Rotten. How's it going? Um, our Mega User Group was so active back in the day, and I had so much free time that we would have a general meeting on the first Thursday of every month, and then each. Uh, other Thursday would have something called a special interest group. So if you're into music, that was like the second Thursday. Third Thursday was graphics and video. And fourth Thursday would be like uh, desktop publishing or games. We'd swap it in and out. Mostly desktop publishing. <laughs> Once a month we get together. So that's what I'm games. talking about here. Uh, we did have a vampire standalone here before, but I now we actually already. busted out one of my other passions. We got 16 millimeter projector, so uh, we're projecting some 16 millimeter film. You know, anything anything vintage and retro uh, goes well uh, at this at this party. Retro Ralph, it was awesome to live here in the 80s and 90s. Uh, you can see Jerry's going through some <laughs> some film cans there. Film rocks. Film rocks. We got uh, an Amiga. CD32 here. We've been playing lots of uh, two-player games. We've been uh, we've been playing CD32 games. CD32 is a uh, console. It's basically an Amiga 1200 in a console. And uh, right now we're playing some classic Eric Schwartz animations. But we've been having some great couch co-op. You know, like online multiplayer games are are amazing. Uh, but there's nothing like getting together with your friends. You know in person and playing couch co-op. It was awesome. We had it set up, you know, just like 80s style where everyone's like sitting around on the floor playing games it was on C32. It was awesome. I'm, I'm great. Uh, I'm great, Candy Rotten. Thank you. I, ho I hope you were well, too. Thank you. Yeah, that's me without my hat, Purple Haze Maker. <laughs> the CD32 is amazing. I want, I want a CD32 so bad. That was theories. And over here, we've got an Atari 800 XL, my man, John. <laughs> He's one of the, the originals, man. I've been buddies with this guy <laughs> since 1991. He was one of my dad's students. And uh, this is an Atari 800 XL. The 800 XL is an amazing computer. Uh, the Atari 800 was my first computer, the original 800. And the, one of the, the, the biggest selling points was this version of Pac-Man. Pac-Man uh, on the 2600 was, was terrible, but this was the closest version you could have at home to the arcade version. And something I'm really excited about is this S-Drive Max. It's actually an Arduino that is a floppy drive emulator, much like a GoTech on the Amiga. But it's got a touch screen, which is really, really cool. And it comes with this cool pen, and you can like load in your floppy disk image, and, uh, and you're off and running. So right now we're playing some Pac-Man. Here we have my- Dude, that, that S-Drive Max is amazing. I, that's, and that's one of the main reasons why I hooked up the 800XL for this uh, get together, is I wanted to play, play with that S-Drive Max. My buddy Bill made it for me, and it, it's, it rocks. Um, it, the touch screen is amazing. Hey, what's up, Beavis? I have an 800XL with bad RAM. What do you recommend? Beavis, unfortunately, I'm not an 800XL expert, um, but Beavis, if you um, if you send me a whisper or you, you like send me a, like a private message on Twitter or something, I can connect you to some 800XL uh, experts who can help you. Uh, so I'm sorry I can't tell you right off the bat because I'm, I'm just not an 800 expert, but I can definitely connect you to some people who can help out. My Commodore 64C. Uh, this one is the. There you go, Hayes. There's the 64. That's my. These are both. So that Commodore 800 XL was actually in my grammar school in the 80s. It was in the computer lab, and I learned how to program BASIC and Logo on, on it. And then when they got rid of their Ataris, and they, I don't know what they upgraded to. Uh, I think they upgraded to like 286s or something. Uh, they were getting rid of their Ataris, and I was able to grab two of the 800 XLs. The one I had when I was a kid. And uh, it was really, really cool. Uh, Rod and Tim from thefuturewith8bit.com generously donated 50 pounds to the Westchester Media User Group, a 50 pound gift certificate to thefuturewith8bit.com. And they make lots of cool devices, including this one right here. This is called an SD2 IEC. And um, it basically, you, you can load a bunch of Commodore 64 ID64 files or PRG files onto an SD card, and you pop them into this cool uh, device, this SD card reader, and it blows up just like you've got a floppy drive connected to it. 
Um, and they also make this Epix Fast Load Reloaded cartridge. The Epix Fast Load cartridge was a key, um, a key peripheral, a key thing to have back in the day, and they don't make them anymore. But now the future with Epix said, you know what, we need some fast load cartridges, so we're gonna we're gonna make them new again. And uh, they make really, really great stuff. So huge thanks to, to Tim and Rod from the Futures 8-Bit for, uh, for sponsoring Westchester Amiga User Group. Yeah, like, I don't know if Sanzine is here in the chat right now, but a huge thanks to, to him and Rod from the Futures 8-Bit. I mean, it's so generous to them to give us, like, a 50-pound gift certificate uh, to the, the high score winner on Rodman. Um, it, we're just so lucky and, and thankful to have you guys uh, supporting us from all the way across the pond. Uh, I love your products. I, I love using the SD2 IEC and the fast load reloaded cartridge. And it's just amazing to have your support. So thank you so much, uh, Tim and Rod. If you guys want to know where to buy this stuff, do exclamation mark shop in the chat, and it'll give you a link to the future with 8bit.com. Thank you so much. Retro Ralph, what joystick is that? Oh, um, okay. That is now the future with 8bit. So you know. That is the Greek stick, Retro Ralph. I can play, I can uh, use it later if you want. I got it right here. I am a I'm a beta tester for the for the uh, for the Greek stick. This is uh, a stick that's in development from the Vintage uh, Computer Society of Athens. I got a Greek stick right here, uh, and I'm beta testing it. And the thing is, the thing's awesome. And uh, I had it hooked up to the 64C for the Rodman competition. Uh, the Greek stick will be available later this year after it goes through some rigorous, rigorous beta testing. All right, let's keep it moving you know, on here. We need some fast load cartridges, so we're gonna we're gonna make them new again. And uh, they make really really great stuff. So huge thanks to, to Tim and Rod from the Futures 8-Bit for uh, for sponsoring Westchester. Oh, you have one of the old fast load cartridges for your 64C Beavis? Yeah, dude, they're they're they were great. And uh, now it's amazing that the uh, Futures 8-Bit makes new Western ones. Amiga user group. Um, here we go. Oh wow, this is the ever changing station. Before I had my Amiga 1200 hooked up. Now we've got um, an Amiga 500 with a vampire in it. So he's got a vampire in here, and he's got it hooked up to this LCD screen. Um, Mike, what are you run? Mike, what kind of what are you running here, Mike? What's that? What are you running? You're running a vampire in here, right? Yep. That's the vampire. Yep. Awesome. Awesome. It's got a uh, yeah, the vampire uh, coffin OS. Great. Uh, re uh, the R54 release, and the vampire core is 211, I believe. Brilliant. And I'm and, off and, and I've I've done like retro. I've kind of went backwards on my icons. Because I'm I'm conflicted between the new new fan. Those like the magic beautiful. user ones, right? Yeah. yeah. So I, I'm so it is coffin, but I've taken some of the icons backward. Yeah, it looks it looks like uh, original Amiga. Yeah. That's so, awesome. Um, Mike is amazing. Mike is a new friend, and he drove all the way out to New York from Pittsburgh for this event. <laughs> he drove like six hours to get here. It's incredible. He was rocking his 1200 and his uh, his vampireized 500 there. You would like a vampire one day, Captain John? Yeah, they're pretty sweet, right? The Greek stick is almost finished. Retro Ralph, the audio is great. Is that a simple lapel mic? Retro Ralph, thank you so much. I've got um, a, a, a lavalier mic on me, and then Mike wasn't mic'd, so Mike uh, is just going off the camera mic, which is actually the mic that I'm talking to you with right now. It's an Audix hypercardioid mic. Johnny Amiton TV, my man. How's it going? Great to see you. Johnny, as always. Johnny, uh, my dad loves Coco Banana. It's like his favorite game now. <laughs> um, hey, what's up, Dancing Wolf? Uh, Dancing Wolf saying, mucho respect to, to WOG. I don't think there's a single surviving UK club. I think Dancing Wolf, what about the Southwest uh, Amiga user group? I know Vicky Pixel Vixen is in it. I know Tim from the Futures 8-Bit is in it. They're, uh, they're on the south of the UK, Dancing Wolf. Maybe you guys can hook up with them. I, their, their meetings look amazing. The Retro Bench sponsors them as well. Yeah, somehow I'm watching this. Um, okay, and here we go. So over here I had um, two Amiga 500s hooked up head-to-head, -head, and we were playing Firepower and Lotus 2. Over here Lotus we have two. two Amiga 500s hooked up with a null modem cable, and we're playing head-to-head -head Lotus 2. And this was a highlight of this party back in the day. We've been doing this party since about 1992, 1993. And back then it was hard to play you know, multiplayer games together. Uh, we didn't have the luxury of you know, internet and make it so easy. So we used to come here, go to your buddy's house, bring your Amiga, and hook it up to his Amiga or her Amiga uh, with a null modem cable, and you could play head-to-head. -head. So um, if you had one Amiga, you could do a split-screen mode, but it's just way cooler to have two Amigas hooked up. So then you've got them both full screen. And this is a head-to-head -head racing in the classic Lotus 2. 
Yeah. Th thanks, Johnny. I appreciate it. Yeah. Dancing Wolf. The South doesn't count. Okay. I guess there's. Uh, I guess there's some uh, rivalry there. <laughs> respect. Respect. Thank. Yeah. I've been doing this like almost every year. I didn't do it last year, unfortunately, because uh, my dad uh, was having heart surgery and my mom uh, was battling breast cancer. And they both won. My mom killed the cancer dead, and my dad um, pulled through. He's got. He's got a new new valve in his heart, so he's good to go. Um, but we've been doing it almost every year since the 90s. That's why I still do it there. One of these days, I'm going to make this more public and do it at a bigger place. But for now, we've got the Retro Dad Cave, and my dad likes hanging out with everyone, and they've a lot of them have known him since you know since the 90s. So he uh, he likes having it at the house. And it, it, this game is really cool. It links up really fast. It's a uh, a very well designed game. Oh, you got Stun Car Racer was, linked with your mates Atari really ST. Really That's awesome. Bitstorm. <laughs> the games to work right and the. The uh, me used to talk to each other. Oh, F16. I used to do F16 Falcon right on Retro Ralph. Good one, good one. But this, well, those two is just solid. It's a great game. Ooh, See, there you go. Here we go. I'm, Head my, Dead Lotus 2 action. My buddy Bell is on the left and I'm on the right. I'm in the lead right now. There oh, I am. Oh, Boom, and he just passed me. See, wow. how cool is that? This was the, this was amazing. This, In this was, game, I'll tell you, this was like a good a good excuse to like get together. You know, back then, it's like this is the only way you could really, like really play these games head to head, and it was so cool to have it full screen because you can play Lotus 2 split screen on one computer, um, but it's so cool to have it full screen head to head. Now you can also have both computers like split screen and play four player Lotus, which is pretty rad too. But we just went head to head here. This is this game holds up today. It, it's just a uh, the game is so well made. The graphics, the gameplay is just. Perfect. It's a perfect it's game. Lotus. Thanks, thanks, Retro Ralph. I appreciate it. Last year was a scary year. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. It was scary. Um, but you know, that's why I try and spend every moment I can with them. You know, because life's short. You know, it's not. Not nothing's. Nothing's forever. So gotta. You gotta um, make the time when you have it. You know. Awesome, Vicky. Welcome Lotus back. Lotus Two. I just made the pass. I'll be playing some games soon. Right now, we're just I'll looking at some video again. from our little uh, Westchester Amiga user group. This is my Meet first time. Here he comes. Saturday. There he goes. He just passed me. Uh, Boom. And see, it, shows, it just showed me that uh, he, when he goes ahead, it gives you a notification on the top of the screen. Because a lot of the serial ports, a lot of serial cables will have like male oh. on one side, female oh, on the other. Oh, I thought I was going to coast over. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> good game, Mike. Yep, that was good. <laughs> yeah. I'm good. Uh, we'll do that again. Game, Mike. Right. There I'm directing take two. Awesome. <laughs> I guess I didn't. I guess I didn't like his reaction or something. <laughs> Nothing like being able to like sit right next to your buddy and play <laughs> yeah. at the same time. <laughs> right on, Harry. It's the truth, you know. But the fun time, time goes by fast, way too fast. Yeah, you can do it if you pixel the dawn. If you select two player on each computer with the null modem cable, then you end up having four player. It's crazy. For me, is seeing everyone come here and have a great time. Thank you for having us. Uh, you're welcome, Marcus. Thanks for coming and be a part of it. And Mike came. Mike. Mike came all the way from. I think I skipped from, oh, from Pittsburgh, which is like a. Yeah. Yeah. The fun for me is seeing everyone come. The, the fun for me is seeing everyone come here and have a great time. And thank you for having us. Uh, you're welcome, Marcus. Thanks for coming and be a part of it. And Mike came. Mike. Mike came all the way from Pittsburgh, which is like a six-hour drive. <laughs> so he's he's the winner. He's uh, come from <laughs> faraway lands to be here. So yeah, I'm lucky to be here today. I was. Uh, it was also uh, that's it. That's the gist. That is the gist of the party. Um, over here, I just showed that this is the. Um, I had my where is it? I had our our Wog logo up there that was designed by John Kingston. I showed that, and of course, of course, I have pictures of me and J Miner sprinkled throughout the house. And uh, if you look back here, you can see this artwork. I used to get. I think it was Amiga World. Amiga World used to put out a calendar, and it had a calendar of like 3D art and 2D art. Uh, you can see like the, the famous like Albert Einstein drawing. I think Jim Sachs did that one. Uh, so I used to take all the artwork from the Amiga calendars and put them up on the wall back back then. And some of them, some of them made it. <laughs> um, so I hope you enjoyed that little tour. Um, Sin Lao, did my pal Amiga 500 get fixed? Not yet, not yet Sin Lao, uh, but I'm going down to New York on Monday. And I'm meeting up with Akira from the Discord channel and he's gonna help me. You feel like playing Truxton? Nice, Vicky. Um, Johnny says, the Lotus Turbo Challenge is amazing. Uh, also can do the same here with Amiga and Atari ST. Yeah, I, I have to try it. Cross-platform Amiga and Atari ST. My buddy Rectipete, who's also at the party, he's a big Atari ST guy. And uh, we're going we're gonna to do that. I think we're going to do it for like VCF East. It's gonna be, we're gonna have, we have something brewing for VCF East. Uh, Captain John, no, you know, Mike is not on, in my Discord. And uh, I need to get him on the Discord. Mike's a great guy. He's such a nice guy. I love Mike. 
Metal Dirt Monkey says, here we see an Amiga build in its natural habitat. You are so right, Metal Dirt Monkey. That, that is like, what you're looking at right there, man, that is like, that is my lair. That is my home turf. <laughs> That's where I had all my Amigas back when I was a kid, and it's where I still got them now when I'm a, when I'm a big kid. <laughs> you like the cave, Hamilton? Nice. Nice, guys. So, yeah, so I think I'm going to start playing some games now. 4.13, I'm, I'm relatively on schedule, which is uh, unusual. Uh, let me see something real good. There might be something else cool here. Uh, it's easy to find. I just want to show you this really quick. Um, new. I'm, I'm not going to show you the whole the whole clip. New sequence from clip. I, it, I'm all like messed up because uh, I usually use two windows here. So this is my buddy Glenn uh, from Glenn's Retro Show on YouTube, and he he takes um, these little mini arcade games here, these little mini arcade machines and hacks them. He puts Raspberry Pi Zeros in them. And uh, on this one, he put in like a laser projector. <laughs> so you can project the game. Oh, that's probably this one. Okay, this project worked on. This project started about a year and a half ago. It was originally a broken, yes, it was a broken uh, Coleco Pac-Man. And I took everything out of here except for the control board. I wanted to have the realistic, really poor Coleco controls in here. And I installed the Raspberry Pi 0W. And this is running um, Raspberry Pi, obviously. But I added a Pico laser projector. So when I turn this thing on, the game you're playing here, now your friends can enjoy on the wall. So we're going to hit this little power button right here. I think Gun has a little hiccup here. You can see that's the right Sorry that like the colors are all washed out. That's just like the native format that the camera shoots. Very pie boot up screen. It's so cool. That's so cool. And you can see the same screen is being shown here on the machine itself. Glenn's the man. He's running meme. Some Donkey Kong here. I still have to figure a way to get some of that interference out. We'll put a coin in and we'll start the game up. I haven't loaded any sound samples in it just oh. yet. My wife is just delivering raw chocolate and tea to me. How awesome is she? She's the best. And she made it to the party too. It was the first time in all these years she ever made it to the party. Goji berry. So I, oh, I've got goji berry chocolate and tea. Oolong, coconut, oolong. coconut oolong tea. That's so cool. So when it's completely done, obviously the sound will be working. Um, it'll run completely off of batteries. Um, you can insert coins, escape the game to get your buttons here. I wanted to do the two joysticks because I love Crazy Climber and Robotron. Those are two games I will probably end up putting on here at some point. And the reason there's no graphics on it yet, I haven't finalized what graphics I'm going to put on but it. Anyway, that gives you the gist of it. Yo, what's up, Pierre? Pierre was at the party. Pierre, I'm just showing him uh, before you came. I don't know if you saw it, but Glenn had his... Uh, his Raspberry Pi Zero set up in his little mini arcade there, and he had a, a laser projector, and we're projecting the game on the wall, so you can play the game right here on the on the you know, on the screen, his updated LCD screen, or on the on the wall, which is pretty rad. Captain John, she had a great time. She'll be back. She'll she'll be back next year. I know Pierre, like uh, Glenn, just kind of had it out, and then I, he put it away. Because <laughs> then when Manny came with the Vampire V4, he kind of took over that table, and Glenn just kind of tabled tabled the game. But it was it was awesome. All right, save that. So uh, if you're just joining the stream, where am I here? If you're just joining the stream, be sure to check out YouTube.com/slash The Guru Meditation uh, on Monday. I'm working on a new video. Uh, Joe DeCure 2.0. <laughs> Hopefully, no flags on the play this time. Um, I can just—I'll give you like a, a quick little snippet of the intro. Uh, this this interview went really, really well. We're super lucky to have Joe DeCure. He's the original, one of the original engineers. Him and Jay Miner, uh, who made the Amiga, and they—they they basically they started with the Atari 8-bit computers. They started with the Atari 8-bit computers. Uh, I'm almost done with this video. I'll give you—I'll show you guys like a quick clip of it now, and uh, be sure to tune into the Guru on on Monday morning. Or Monday afternoon, your time if you're if you're in Europe to, to check out the interview. Um, let's see, I'll, I'll play a little clip of it here. Just a clip, just a clip. I'm not done yet. 
Hey everyone, so we're here at VCF East with Joe DeCure who worked both at Atari on developing the Atari 8-bit systems and with Amiga consulting to help start development of the Amiga. Right, when it was High Toro. When it was High Toro, yes. Well, I met Jay in person in late February 1976, right? I was interviewed by other Atari people over the Thanksgiving weekend in 1975. By luck, I had been studying microprocessors on my own. I had bought a 6502 at Westcon the same day that Ron Milner did. So I aced the technical interview, but I hadn't met Jay yet. So I went up to Nevada City, California to debug what would be the 2600 concept prototype. Management liked it, so they said, you're coming down to Los Gatos to work for somebody. So that's when I met Jay Miner. I rented an apartment nearby, I bicycled in to work. And the, my first day at work there, I talked about writing some memo and he talked about ass covering and he said, you know what? Success has a thousand fathers, failure is an orphan. He was the most important mentor that I've had in my life, bar none. Favorite boss. I miss him all the time. He died at 56. He was a young guy. Kidney failure. He was tall, affable, funny. He was a square dancer. He did bonsai for fun. Every time I'd go visit him, I'd hang out in his bonsai collection. We'd talk. Well, you worked with him twice, but first was at Atari, and that was on the 2600 and the Atari 8-bit computer. Right. And then he left. All right, there you go. There's, there's a little taste. <laughs> there's a little taste. I got to finish editing it, but be sure to tune into The Guru on Monday. And uh, there's some like really, really awesome Amiga history in this interview. A huge thanks to Joe for taking the time to, to talk with us. And a huge uh, thanks to my buddy Marcus, who was actually doing a Facebook live stream at the time. And uh, we kind of tag teamed. So uh, Marcus got some great questions into Joe, and Anthony got some great questions. And he gets pretty deep, man. He gets pretty deep into um, the conversion from the Atari 8-bit. Uh, to Amiga and uh, some of the, the details of the Amiga's design. So it's it's a really, really cool interview. So be sure to check into the, to the Guru on Monday. Um, oh yeah, Sin Lao, she's psyched to play some Overcooked. I'm so glad I got that one, thank you. Um, yeah, so Captain John, Monday, Monday, man, Monday, you can see the whole video. The ba Who's the baby on my mug? That's my godson, Joey. See, that's Joey. Joey actually watches the streams every now and then. There's me and Joey. Joey's cleaning my nose. So I'm his, I'm his godfather. Joey, Joey's the best. Amiga love. He says, I feel like Joe really emerged in recent years from the shadows and his stories are so amazing. Huge props for capturing this history, Bill and Anthony. Thank you, Amiga Love. Um, you'll learn in the interview that Joe had to, was forced to go into hiding for many, many years. Um, and that's part of the reason why he's coming around now. Um, there's some really cool information about that in this interview, Amiga Love. So be sure to tune in to the guru. He talks about, oh, he talks about the Seattle uh, user group club that he's in, Amiga Love. He talks about that too. Oh, when's the, the WOG video is coming, Captain John? Well, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna upload this Joe DeCure one first on Monday. Uh, and then I still want to finish, uh, if you look behind us here, if you look behind us, you can see that is our uh, Amiga exhibit that we had at Vintage Computer Festival East this year. It was a tribute to J Minor um, because it was the 40th anniversary of Atari 8-bit. Uh, so we have all Amiga 1000s at this exhibit, and I want to do a video uh, about uh, our exhibit, which shouldn't take me too long to do. Uh, and then I'm going to do the WOG video as well. So it's going to be the summer, summer of the guru, baby. <laughs> summer of the guru. Is that a mugshot? <laughs> it is literally a mugshot, Sin Lao. Yes, it is literally a mugshot. Break 6-6. Six, six. The, the, inter the full interview is not available yet. I'm still editing it, but it's coming out on Monday. It'll be here. It'll be uh, Monday on uh, our YouTube channel, The Guru Meditation. I'm going to finish editing it after work. <laughs> 
tomorrow, Saturday, and Sunday. <laughs> it's going to be a really good interview. And if you notice, if you if you don't, you might recall I uploaded another Joe DeCare video earlier, uh, a couple months ago or a month ago, uh, of his keynote speech, and it was an amazing video. You can find it on the Vintage Computer uh, Festival's web uh, YouTube site. Um, but that was really it was an amazing video. But he talks really he went really into a lot of Atari detail there. Where in this video uh, it's mostly Amiga, but he also talks about the transition from Atari to Amiga. So some really good Amiga history happened in here. All right, time to play some games. Time to play some games. Let me shut this sucker down. I will, yeah, Captain John, I think it's a, I think I should release the walk video to the public, right, Captain? I think people will be interested in seeing that on the Guru YouTube. Hey, Vincent GR, how's it going, buddy? Great to see you, Vincent. Always a pleasure to have Vincent GR. Vin speaking of the Guru Meditation, I think Vincent GR may have been the first subscriber to the Guru Meditation. If he wasn't like the first, he was like one of the first three, for sure. Great to have you here, Vincent. My wife wants to uh, come visit Greece very badly. So much good stuff going on in Greece, too. Yeah, I think they'll like it, Captain, I agree. Uh-oh, what happened here? Anuk33, thank you for the follow. It's a pleasure to have you. I'm Bill, streaming Amiga stuff for my 1200 today. Uh, the first part of the stream was kind of like a podcast IRL stream. Uh, we did some some news, found out about a great new game that's coming out. Uh, did gave you a little recap of the Westchester Amiga user group meeting. I uh, gave you a little taste, a little taste of the video that's dropping on the Guru Meditation on Monday. Joe DeCure, original Commodore Amiga engineer, lots of great Amiga history there. Um, and what else did we do? We uh, I did something else. Oh, we unboxed. We unboxed some really cool goodies from uh, my buddy uh, Sir Lucas from Retro Ready One. He sent over some amazing goodies for for me and Samia. I'm I'm totally psyched about this sucker. I'm really psyched about this one from Crashing. No notification, Vincent. That's so bizarre. That's so bizarre. Maybe you have Twitch like blocked or something. I'm glad you're here now, Vincent. All right, let's switch over to Amiga. So, so check this out. Like one of the, one of the um, what did I do here? Input HDMI. Good. You know, one of the things like that I do for those uh, Westchester Amiga user group meetings is I just kind of like set up stuff that I want to see and like projects that I'm working on. So, um, my buddy John, who's in the video, he had uh, an extra an extra one of these. He had um, this trackball, I, and uh, I'm a big fan of Wyco. I used to use the Wyco Bat joystick all the time on my uh, Amiga, um, and this is the Wyco trackball. And I'd never had one of these before. I had an Atari brand trackball, which was pretty good. But this Wyco is like butter, man. It is just awesome. It feels like arcade quality. Um, it's got uh, a button up here that's like joystick button. And this one's been modified. I have no idea who modified it, but it's been modified. So this little button is a right mouse button, so you can use it as a mouse. Um, if you notice, it's also got uh, a nine-pin mouse connector here, so you can actually plug this trackball into the mouse port and then plug your mouse into this nine-pin port, uh, so, and you can use either one. So that, like back in the day, before they, before someone hacked this and made the second button, um, you would actually have to connect your mouse to the trackball here if you want to like right click, which was kind of silly. Um, but this hack is super sweet. And I love this little piece of history here. It says, uh, Amiga compatible trackball, December 4th, 1989. Can this stupid camera focus on that? It can't really focus on it, but close enough, right? So I just love these little pieces of history. And uh, I was like, you know what? I got this new trackball. What am I going to do with the new trackball? Oh, I'll play some Marble Madness. Oh, and I'll hook it up to my Amiga 1000 as well. So, um, so yeah, that's what we're going to do. We'll play some Marble Madness now. And as you can see, I'm using it as a mouse. And it works great as a mouse. Although, like, for some of these games, like, I'm going to play Arkanoid after Marble Madness. And Arkanoid actually works better with a mouse. <laughs> but we'll, we'll try it. We'll try it with a trackball. We'll do a Marvel Madness first, and then some Arkanoid DJ Villainess. Oh, hey, what's up, Kalor? Oh, Kalor just wrote a nice long message. Let me read it, and then we'll start playing some Marble Madness. 
Kalora says, Hi, Amiga Bill and Amiga Knots. Uh, this is your fort fault, Bill, after watching your last live stream. I went and bought myself another Amiga 500 and landed an amazing deal at a local house clearance. So I got uh, an ECS 6810 Amiga 500 expanded to 2 megs, 2 Competition Pro joysticks, an A570 CD expansion, and a few box games, uh, 3 disc boxes of discs, and a box of spares. Need to retrobite the keyboard in case, but otherwise it's all working. Thank you for putting me in the right frame of mind to get all these goodies. Laughing out loud. Dude, Kalor, that is amazing. Thank you for the kind note. Huge congrats on your pickup. It sounds like, it sounds like a winner. That is, a, that is incredible, dude. <laughs> Congratulations. That's a, that's a huge pickup right there. Congrats, Kalor. And I'm, I'm glad I, I gave you a little bit of inspiration. I'm glad, I'm glad my streams are, are good for something. <laughs> um, yeah, purple. Marble Madness with the, with the trackball. It's the only way to play Marble Madness, you know? You like the Mortimer Twang? DJ Billy Nest uh, gave me all these tunes, by the way. All right, let's close out the Hippo Player. Even though I'm loving the tunes, we're going to listen to some Marble Madness right now. Now, Marble Madness uses a different screen mode, so I'm going to have to just adjust the screen a little bit when I, when I fire up the game. Marble Madness is one of my all-time favorite games. Uh, Captain John and Amiga Sons actually gave me a Marble Madness poster, which I got right up there, which I should, I should dig out. Um, it's right up there. Let's see if I can easily grab it. I can grab, I can grab the chocolate, my homemade chocolate from... I keep it. I keep this poster right above my um, all my CDs, displayed proudly. Let me open it up here. And this I'm gonna have to frame it. So this is an awesome gift from Captain John. It is a sweet Marble Madness poster from Captain John and Amiga Sons. And yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to frame this one. This one belongs on the wall. This is so sweet. overhead cam there now, now you can see it better thank you for this amazing gift captain john I, I appreciate it so much and as you can see as you can see in this in this image here's the arcade cabinet for marble madness and look what's there two trackballs trackballs are the only way to play marble madness so yeah dude, i love this is like i just love this poster so much captain thank you so much you and amiga sons are the bestest All right, let's fire up some Marble Madness. It got real quiet in here. Oh, Ash is psyched for some Marble Madness. Right on, Ash. <laughs> Ash, you've been waiting so patiently. I hope, uh, I hope, I hope the wait. I hope it was worth your wait. And I hope you got something interesting out of the other stuff. Johnny's playing some Auric, uh Atmos games and hosting your stream in Amiton TV YouTube. Oh wow, I didn't know you could do that. Thank you, Johnny. Thank you, Johnny. I appreciate that so much, my man. Amiton TV over on YouTube. The, he, Johnny is the stream machine. Y'all should go sub to Johnny and Amiton TV, my man Johnny. The original Amiga stream machine. I love it, Captain. Amiga Love is asking if the poster, uh, where the poster is from. I'm not sure where, where it's from, Amiga Love. Uh, Captain John can answer it. Hey, what's up, Psycho Rat? Great to see you. Uh, Amiga Love says trackballs are legit, but when I saw someone beat the game, he used a laser mouse. Yeah, I think, I think it is easiest to play with a laser mouse. I, I agree. It's probably the best way to do it, Amiga Love. But you know what? You got to play it the way it was intended. You know what I mean? Aw, Ash says, everything was awesome and your community is incredible. I'm so glad to learn so much. So Ash, Ash's dad has gotten an Amiga 500 and uh, his Amiga 500 is not working. So uh, Ash is, and her dad are in New York, which is awesome. So we're going to we're gonna get her and her dad sorted with, uh, with the 500. We're going to get, get her dad back into shape with that 500 and fix it up. Rock and roll should work. With, I don't know rock and roll. roll. I don't know it. Okay, so uh, red player is going to be. I'm going to. I've got it into the in the mouse port, so I'm going to switch to mouse port, 
and input device is going to so you can choose trackball one trackball two or mouse uh, but being that this trackball is basically behaving as a mouse you have to choose mouse but before we play let me just adjust the screen because it's I, I like I want to give you guys maximum screen real estate It's not the fastest process in the world, but <laughs> it's worth it. It's worth it. Come on, OB. There you go. There you go. There we go. All right, rock and roll. Here we go. It's weird. My my CPU usage just went through the roof. I hope I hope everything's all right. Your first time playing Marvel Masters was on the NES? That's okay. I love the NES. The NES is great, Ash. Uh, Amiga Love says the Marvel Madness Amiga version is simply fantastic. It, it, it's the best. It's like arcade perfect. Let the madness begin. Here we go, Andy. I'm probably gonna have to hold hold the trackball in my hand, but I'll leave it down here for now. Bam. I might like good I might like good at the first two levels and then I'm terrible. <laughs> this is madness. This is madness. Um Monster Joystick says oh Oh this so here's the evil the evil the evil marble. I gotta put him down. Get out of here. Oh he get out of dude, he's fighting me today. I'm just gonna go this way because I need to Keep my time up. There we go. So Amiga Love, when um when you saw that person beat Marble Madness, um how many I forget how many levels there are total. I think isn't there a version of the game where um uh, there's a version of the game where that there's more levels, right? And I think if I hold the trackball with two hands, it probably would be easier, but. Oh, look at that. I swished. A perfect swish down the hole. Wow, I'm playing terrible. There we go. I haven't played the game with a trackball in a while, but it's worth it. Retro Ralph, you love the music. One of the first games you played on the Amiga. Me too, Retro Ralph. Me too. Oh, I'm playing my stream in the background? Bill's about to lose his marbles. <laughs> Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, I don't. Th I don't think I'm playing the stream in the background. Although my CPU usage is higher than usual, which is is very odd. Yeah, see, with the laser mouse, you have a little bit more control, like a little bit less momentum. Now these guys are gonna come and try and get me down the. Oh, right. The trick to this game, you really like the time really piles on in this game. So yeah, so Ash. Anyway, Marvel Madness. This 
Amiga version of Marvel Madness is a great version. Uh, I think it is almost like arcade perfect. There we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I think we got through the waves there. Oh, shh. Come on, put me on the put me on the platform there. There we go. All right, this is just a warm up. Yo, um, yo, brother Bill, what's going on? Roll seventy three. Amiga is and always will be the greatest computer in the history of awesomeness. Yes, rolls, awesome. <laughs> rolls, you rock. Oh, uh, poetic. I mean, psycho rat. I don't I don't know rock and roll, but I I need to try it. Oh, he got me. He got me. So, yeah. So, after I get catapulted here, he gets a little dizzy. I'm not, I don't think I'm going to be able to beat this level. Oh, man. And the marble. The, the evil marble is just waiting for me. Oh, but he made a mistake. He, he just, like, waited for me to land and just, like, gave him the smackdown. It is it is tricky with the with the with the trackball, but it's much better. Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. Well, th thanks for the heads up, though, um, Hayes. I appreciate it. It looks great. It looks it looks just like the arcade, right, Ash? Brother Bill says this is the only port of Marvel Madness that's close to the arcade. Oh, there's six levels altogether. Rock Lobster, you know it rolls. <laughs> All right, let's. I'll, I'll play it again, Brother Bill. I love this game so much. I'm not home. The music is so good in this game, and the physics are amazing. It's so cool. Oh yeah. Oh, shot ninety-seven uh, beat it. Oh, shot is awesome. And you have to use the bonus time in order to get through the last levels. Exactly, Amiga Love. The, it's all about the bonus time. So you, yeah, you can't you can't mess around. See, like with, when it comes to the evil ball, I'd rather just go around them so I get more bonus time. You know. Come at me, bro. There we go. So uh, you know, do you play to get far in the levels, or do you play for points? Because that's like four thousand is a nice little score right there to go down that tube. A little two K to go down that tube. All right. So the ice, the ice gets me again. Unbelievable. You know, the best strategy on the ice is just to not try and counter it. For me, I just like let it take me, and usually it works out all right. Retro Ralph says he can't remember the last time he had a home phone ring. No one has them anymore, apart from my in-laws and parents. And me, I'm dude. I've, I'm playing with an, a, a computer from <laughs> from the 90s. Of course, I've got a home phone. <laughs> but you know, we thought the only, honestly the only reason why we have it is um, we got the triple play: internet, TV, and phone. Something else I had never used either: in TV. So I really all I need is internet now. But I still got the triple play. Oh no, that was terrible. Every now and then the home phone comes in handy. Yeah, much better played that time. Hey, what's up, horse? Yeah, this is a cool looking game, horse. This is a uh, Marble Madness, one of my all-time favorites. Yo, counselor, thank you for the follow. It's a pleasure to have you. 
having a great stream today. We did a little unboxing of some new Amiga goodies. Uh, went over some video from the latest Westchester Amiga user group meeting that we had on Saturday. Did a little Amiga news, and now we're playing some some Marble Madness. One of my all-time favorite games. This this is so funny. I was thinking about it, you know, games and, and new Amiga games, and like really, like, a great game is a great game. It stands the test of time. Like I would, I I I would fire this game up and play it more frequently than like um, you know a modern shooter that I have to like invest like. 45 minutes of my time in, you know. This is just a great game, great gameplay. And I was thinking, we're, I was talking to um, to Richard about like future of Amiga, and I think that's the hard part with like apps. Like I feel like the the, the apps don't stand the test of time as well as the games do. I mean, of course, there's some apps like D Paint that are that are still great to this day, but the games like a great gameplay just stands the test of time. It doesn't matter what the graphics are or what system it's on. It's just a great game. It's a great game. Oh man, I'm, I'm doomed. I'm done. Oh wait, I just got... I got a few extra seconds there. Ten extra seconds. I Let me put them to good use. Alright, that was, that was poor. We'll get it, we'll get it, we'll get it. What's up, Miss DK? I'm great. Great to have you, Miss DK. Hey, what's up, Simply Austin? Great to see you. Yeah, it's just like the arcade. Vicky says the Japanese Mega Drive version is really good, too. I've never played that one, Vicky. Your marble is calling. Yeah, Simply Austin, we are, we're rocking the Amiga 1200 today. Which way should I go, Brother Bill? Go up towards the wave? I, oh, I did the wave. Thanks, DJ Billy Nest. Greetings, greetings to Denmark from New York City, Miss DK. Welcome, Denmark. I gotta get to Denmark one day. Go the other way when you get to the black wall. I, I'll check, brother Bill. Next time I come to it, I'll, I'll see what you're doing. Andy, that's the other thing I use the home phone for. For is just to like put all my trash calls there. <laughs> nice. No computer parts harmed. Remake of. Shell kickstarted donor keyboard and X64 SBC inside. Nice, simply Austin. Um, counselor, this is this is the um, original Amiga version of Marble Madness. So it's not the arcade version, but it's the Amiga version, which I think is the closest to the arcade. If I go, oh, then I have to go to Norway too. I would love to go to Norway. Sin Lao. Over 30 years since you played Marble Madness. Oh, you gotta change that, Counselor. I was just saying that this game stands the test of time. It's just a great game to this day. I would love to go to Norway. So I think the plan for the rest of the stream is I'm going to play a little more Mob Madness, then we'll do some Arkanoid, and maybe some Star Wars. Brother Bill, is that what you're talking about? That on on a uh, level two or the other the other black ball? Probably you're probably talking about the other the other level. Nice. The Scandinavian tour, exactly, Sin Lao. Norway is the most expensive place on earth to get drunk. Oh man, well I have to bring my own. I have to bring my own. <laughs> There we go. Nice moves. 
Slow it down. Nicey nice. Nice. Down. Excellent. Good run. Good run here. Pixels on says great looking game, although the menu is ugly as sin. <laughs> it's true, Pixels. You're right. Ty Racer, the physics are great. Level four? I think am I I think I'm on level four now, Brother Bill. Oh, so I think Brother Bill wants me to go to the right side right off the start. No, I can't because that's for the second player. Let's see what Brother Bill's talking about here. Oh, Brother Bill's saying I should go down towards the black marble? Let's see. Brother Bill's right, I should do that. It's a short the shorter distance. But I can't get up there, Brother Bill. I can't, I can't, I can't cross this. I couldn't get up on the lip, Brother Bill. But I think that's what you were talking about. Unless I just wasn't doing it right. See, there's, it's three-dimensional there, Brother Bill. I can't get up on that lip. Oh man, the black ball really gave me a hard time there. That, that was a costly error right there. There we go. I love these jumps. They're so much fun. <sighs> Alright, you little rascals. Go! <sighs> Ah! I need to get past this level. I need to get past this level. Yo, Microfin, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it, Micro. It's a pleasure to have you. Did my notification come up? I don't think it did. Rule of thirds, the mouse controls are actually easier, but like I was saying, I like to play this game with the trackball the way it was intended. Bring your own beer. <laughs> we'll bring your own something else. Um, Ms. DK says, um, do you have any good resources you can share to find new Amiga games for classic Amiga 500, 1200, and so on games uh, that have come out in the past years? Um, Ms. DK, I would go to uh, lemonamiga.com, do exclamation mark lemon, and they also link you to the Hall of Light, and that's like the list of like all Amiga games, uh, including, and if you go to lemonamiga.com, they have... Um, a forum and on the forum there is uh, there's one from 2018 and one from 2019 where it lists all the new Amiga games that came out. I'd go to Lime and Amiga for sure. I, Brother Bill, I, I went the wrong way. I'm going to try and check it out. I'm going to try and do it that way. Yeah, you got to do a recap, Counselor. Microfine, usually I play the NTSC version, but I think this WHD load is a PAL version. Thank you, Captain John. I just didn't hear the notification. Thank you, Captain. Thanks, Captain. Simply Austin says, did the Amiga take off much in the US? At the time in the UK, it was around 50-50 for PC and Amiga. I had a 286 at the time. No, Simply Austin, it was definitely not 50-50. Uh, PC was way, way, way more popular. It never really took off here, Simply Austin, unfortunately. The Amiga was most known for the video toaster. It was most known for the video toaster. Yeah, and Roll says make sure you buy the Shell T-shirt at Lemon Amiga. That uh, that's a good shirt. I've got that one. Rolls, good good call. No problem, Miss DK. Yeah, good good. Uh, yeah, Indie Retro News also posts news about new uh, new games that come out. Um, if you go to, I'll have to look for the the thread. But there's a a great thread on um. Lemon Amiga about all the new games that are coming out. Let's try and get past level four. 
Let's get some bonus time. Now, Amiga Love, I think the best I've ever done is with the mouse as well. I've got, um, I've got a Rish 2 9 pin to a uh, USB adapter, and I've got a, a laser mouse I can point, I can plug in to the Amiga, but that's the best run I've ever had using those controls, but I like to use the original. I'll try and find the link. Uh, Miss Decal, find the link uh, before the stream's over, okay? I, I just have to switch to PC mode. If you're not here, I can just whisper it to you as well. That was terrible. Ash, my favorite three Amiga games? Oh, man. That is a tough one, Ash. I would go... I, dude, I have to say, this is one of them. I love Marvel Madness, I love Lemmings, and I love Another World, also known as Out of This World. If I had to pick three, maybe it's those three, but there's so many good ones. You got Speedball, Speedball 2, uh, you got your Sensible Soccer, your Secret of Monkey Island, um, your Shadow of the Beast, which is one of the most beautiful games ever, gameplay hard. A lot of the mini games have difficult gameplay. I really love uh, Epidia, I love Banshee. This is a terrible run. You use uh, a PC compatible trackball with the Rish Mark II, Brother Bill? Nice. All the Psygnosis titles? Yeah, the Psygnosis games are amazing. Uh, R Type is another great one. Oh my god. I'm loving this trackball though, even though it's harder to control. <laughs> it's harder to play a game with the trackball as a trackball goes. This one's awesome. Oh my god, what is going on here? I'm never gonna get past level 4 this way. I got a little crazy there. I started spinning, spinning like a madman. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, this is bad. I should just wipe. I should just wipe this run. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to use this run to try out Brother Bill's technique. Worthy is a great game. Worthy is a new game, and it's a great game. There's so many good ones. That We had a blast playing Pong 4K at, at WOG as well. Oh, I know the game Agony Counselor. Agony's incredible. Oh, Defender of the Crown for you. Oh, Defender of the Crown's a great one from Cinemaware. Settlers, yes. My buddy Anthony loves Settlers. <laughs> Brother, so brother Bill, you want me to go this way? How do I get up there, brother Bill? I don't know how to do it. I don't know. How, I can't get up that way, Brother Bill. I think this is the way you want me to go. Oh, he's saying no. Okay. Uh, Vicky says she'll hopefully be playing some Apedia tomorrow on the on the Amiga Friday game stream. Oh, awesome, Vicky! If I'm home in time, I'll check out your stream. Yo, that geek dude. Thank you for the raid with a party of five. Thank you, sir. Welcome, welcome, raiders. I'm Bill. We're playing some Amiga stuff today. Uh, I busted out my my Wyco trackball, and we're playing some some uh, Marble Madness right now. Um, and we're gonna play a little Arkanoid and maybe a little Star Wars. We'll see. It's five o'clock now. I probably got about thirty minutes left in the stream. Thirty to forty-five minutes left in the stream, and then I have to get ready for my wife's stream. Um, but welcome, thank you for the raid. I hope you had a, a great stream, that geek dude. I'll have to check your channel out. You're playing Pong 4K on your X5000? Oh, you're making me jealous. Uh, Hazemaker likes Z-Wolf, No Second Prize, and Snow Brothers are his, 
our Amiga hidden gems. Z Wolf, I yeah, hey, Z Wolf is amazing. I love it. You're totally right. All the uh, FTL captive dungeon master types. Yeah, rolls. The, the dungeon master types weren't my my cup of tea, but they're they're amazing. First game, die and retry. <laughs> The Amiga Star Wars port is epic. I'm going to play it a little bit. The Geek Dude, yeah, I love Marvel Madness Geek Dude, and uh, I think this is one of the best arcade versions there is. The Amiga version is just amazing. Star Wars, I can try and beat your world record. I don't think I'll be able to do it with the trackball. The best port, in your opinion? I agree, rule of thirds. You can play CD32 games on the X5000. Nice. All right, let's try, let's try and get past four. Level four. Amiga Love, did you say that there's six altogether? So this game is definitely easier with the mouse, especially the laser mouse, but I like playing with the trackball. The way it's intended, you know? Hybris, best shoot em up, best music. Oh, Hybris is good, Bitstorm, I agree. The Geek Dude, you haven't played this on the Amiga, but you don't have a trackball. You can play it with the mouse on the Amiga, though. It's actually easier to play with the mouse. Thank you so much for the raid, by the way. I got two raids today. The, the Haze Maker, the Purple Haze Maker, and the Geek Dude. Oh, I thought I was going to go with one there. I've usually been going up. I, should, I probably should go up here. Right? Isn't that the faster way? I'm playing like crap today. Faster but the harder way. Oh, you play on your main cabinet with the trackball? Nice. Yeah, the arcade version. That's sweet. So I hit both walls. <laughs> Oh, that's a bad, that's a bad spot right there. I thought at least give it to me after the waves. There we go. Battle Squadron was done by the same guys at Hybris. Yeah, isn't it kind of like a successor to it, Bitstorm? Go towards the Serpentine, not down the ramp. I'll have to, I'll have to check. Yo, Monster Joysticks. <laughs> Thank you, sir. I will. And thank you for again for the great joystick. Uh, you guys go go to monsterjoystick.com or monsterjoysticks.com. I can't remember which one it is. Um, they make amazing arcade quality joysticks that were a big hit at Westchester Amiga User Group this past weekend. You know, I just don't have some um, with the trackball. I just don't have the exact precise control that I'm used to with the with the like the laser mouse. But it's, it is more fun. And fun is all about having fun. Black ball gave me a little push there. It's not actually he's not a ball, he's a marble. Oh man. Oh, nice. I got a blessing of 10 extra seconds. Let's put it to good use. Let's see if I can get past this level.
These hammers are the bane of my existence today. Dang it. That geek dude, really odd music in this game. <laughs> it's a little trippy, but it's kind of fun. Yo, Ty Racer, good night. Always a pleasure to have you. 11 p.m., time to go to bed. Thank you, Ty. It's always a pleasure to have you here. I know, Amiga Love. It's painful. Painful, Amiga Love. Slow is fast on it. Brother Bill, I don't know I don't know where you're telling me to go. I need some chocolate. Let me get some chocolate. Time for some you want some Arkanoid, DJ Billy Nestle? I'm gonna try one more round. One more run. Here we go. Mmm. So my wife made homemade vegan chocolate with goji berries and almonds. It's so good. On level four when I get to the black ball. It's really good, Captain John. It's got sea salt in it too. So good. I can't figure out what Brother Bill's trying to tell me to do. It's too hot in my room. That's the problem. My, my brain's misfiring. It's like a thousand degrees in this room right now. Oh, see, like stupid mistakes like that are killing me. I was doing good, and then I do something stupid like that. Let's see how I, f I usually like head for the middle. There we go. Oh, I overcompensated. I spun that wheel real hard. All right, now we got, we got, we're out. Don't go down the ramp where the pole comes up. I'm gonna see if I can figure it out, brother Bell. Now let's see if I can. All right. Fit through here. The physics here are super cool. Difficult, but cool. See, that was one where it was the inertia of the, of the trackball. I'm not dialed into yet. No, 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 no. There we go. You love the falling down sound is great, right? Yuri rhymes with Lori in Old Scotland. A Yuri is a marble. Oh, interesting. Hey, Dr. Mitzler, how's it going? Yo, Hyvan. Hyvan, thank you so much for the raid, my man. I'm going to look in a second. This is my last Marble Madness run here. I'm trying. I'm playing with the, the trackball. Oh, I know. I see. I see where Brother Bill wants me to go. I can't even get over there.
Oh, it goes, comes out down there. I got it. Oh, shoot. I thought it was on the top. Brother Bill, I don't know. That way is hard. So, Hyvan, Hyvan, thank you so much for the host. I appreciate it so much. Welcome, Hyvan, uh, Hyvan viewers. Uh, it's a pleasure to have you all. I hope you had a great stream. Uh, I haven't seen it in a minute. I haven't popped into your streams in a minute, uh, Hi Van. So thank you so much for the raid. I hope I hope you had a great stream and welcome uh, to all your viewers. We had a great stream today. We uh, started out with some Amiga news. Then we did an unboxing from uh, Retro Ready One. I got some really cool pickups, including this uh, this amazing um, PC MSA to Compact Flash Right Angle Adapter. Um, I got an Ethernet card from the 1200. I got some IDE to Compact Flash adapters. Uh, that don't require um, a, a ribbon cable. You just plug these suckers right in, hardwired right, you know, hard right into the motherboard. It's sweet. Um, and I got some eight uh, eight megabytes of RAM for my friend Sammy's new 1200. So it's been a good one. We went over uh, the setup at the Westchester Media User Group meeting we had on Saturday, and yeah, it's been a great stream. So thank you. Um. AJD Live, how much do you reckon it would cost to get an Amiga and a Tele for it to work on these days? Well, you can plug it. It depends which Amiga, AJD. It's very, very tough. Hey, JSW710. You avoid both jumps that way. It's definitely easier. I got to go that way, JSW. I'll get used to that way. Thank you, Fishbot. Thank you so much. It's faster if you don't have to do the jumps. Got it. That makes sense. Yo, break666. Uh, take care. I hope I uh, hope you had fun here, break. Full tank eighty two. What's up? Awesome emoji. <laughs> um, Captain John. Yeah, it, it depends on which model you want. The but uh, the five hundred and twelve hundred. The twelve hundred would be the most versatile Amiga. Uh, I've seen them going for around like three hundred and fifty to four hundred dollars, and you could connect it to a regular TV with a composite cable. The quality won't be as good, um, but you could do that, or you can um, get a SCART to HDMI. Uh, adapter and Amiga RGB to SCART cable and connect it to a modern monitor that way. Which that's a good, that's a very good option. So uh, let's say it's let's say you spend three, let's say you spend four hundred on the twelve hundred, uh, and then that's uh, it'll be about five hundred bucks I would say with that modern LCD setup. The Geek Duty, yeah, I got a lot of sweet stuff. Yo AJD Live, thank you for the host. I appreciate it very much. It's some sexy stuff, right, Doctor Mitzler? <laughs> Pixels at dawn is gonna wake up screaming tonight with the meow sound in his head. That's hilarious, Pixels. Stemolo, take care. Thank you for stopping by. It's a pleasure to have you. In the UK, an Amiga 1200 goes for 200 to 300 Great Britain. Yeah. I saw, like, I saw him for 350, so that's why I, get, I guessed 400. And a 500 goes for about 100 Great Britain. Got you. And if you can't afford 1200, go for 500. Agreed. Agreed, Brother Bill. Agreed. The emojis from a Norwegian streamer is a cool emoji. All right, so let's play some uh, Arkanoid, right? I'm, I, I actually I have the NTSC version of Arkanoid, so I'm gonna reboot the Amiga. Peace, love, Amiga. Oh, Vicky says get a 600. That's where it's at. D Vicky's got a great point there. The 600 is pretty awesome. Because the 600 has got... she's You know, Vicky's got a great point. Because the 600 has got um, uh, IDE controller in it. And it's got the PC MCI to, PC, to um, PC MCI slot on the side. So that that's huge. That is huge. Yeah, you, maybe, maybe you do want to go for a 600 over a 500. But I'd still, the 1200 is still the most versatile, though. Because it's got the AGA graphics. Oops. I don't know what's up with the delay there. Sorry, I'm I'm jipping you guys on the stream. Oh no worries, brother Bill. I it would have been awesome to have you the next time. We'll do it again. It was the first one Anthony hasn't come to in like 28 years. It was sad. You're leaning towards getting one from someone who's bought one. You know, I can also recommend um, going to retrobench.com. Do exclamation mark shop in my chat. And the retrobench, um, if you just contact him directly, he'll sell he'll sell you Amigas and he'll recap them as well. And he's a really good friend of the stream, a really good guy. 
and he's getting a 1200 ready for me. So um, I would recommend reaching out to him as well. And he'll give you like a fair price. And he'll recap it. The 1200s need to be recapped. You have Lothric's 020 card? Oh, nice, Brother Bill. <laughs> Captain John says, can we agree on getting a 500, 600, and 1200 and a CD32 if you're rich? You might as well throw in like a 1000 and a 4000 too there, Captain. The electronics are getting old, Retro, yes. Vicky's got her 600 down the D paint. Nice. I recommend over that for the the 500 for modern, for modern usage. She's right. Vicky's right. The 600 is is a better option than the 500. She is right. I agree with her. Anthony is totally slacking. Counselor Amiga's are becoming rare, and 200 to 300 Great Britain isn't that expensive for some 1200s. And then and you're gonna need to recap it as well. Dr. Mitchell says 500 runs 95% of the software. I get a 500. You can't go wrong with either one. But I, I do like the ability to have that IDE controller and that PCM set I saw is nice. But I don't have one. I've got a 1200 and a 500. Battle Squadron is great. Oh, Amiga Love says AGA breaks the old games he wants to play. He got rid of all of his. Oh, interesting, Amiga Love. I've, I got good luck with this 1200. I know, I know, I know it's not aligned properly, but I'm gonna see what um, what Arkanoid looks like and adjust it for the game. But thank you, thank you, Ariuri, thank you for the heads up there. I have this, I have the screen aligned for Marble Madness. Okay, so but there's a lot missing here. Okay. Sorry, I, just want, I want to make sure you guys get the full the full Arkanoid experience here. It looks like we're really close. That's cool. That's close. I still don't know why my CPU usage is so high right now. Something weird happened. But it's working. Let's play some Arcanoid. You were playing Arcanoid in your Coco via cartridge? Nice. That geek dude, do you know if there are spinners available for Amiga? I I'm not sure I'm not sure what a spinner is, uh, Geek Dude, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm playing it with the trackball, Johnny. <laughs> it's it really it really should be played with a paddle. Now I've got my Atari twenty six hundred paddles, but I don't I don't think they would work on Amiga. This is gonna be really hard. Cause the trackball is tracking much slower than the mouse would. I hate the catch. But this Arkanoid is another great port of an arcade game. The Amiga version is just ace. That was a bad hit. Oh, B lets you skip the level. Nice. I want to own that level, though. Oh, boy. <sighs> it's just, it's it's much a much slower game with this trackball. I wish I could just increase the speed in Workbench, I got the speed maxed out. Yeah, hang up there. I'll take the extension. 
The extension is is great. It's my second favorite to the laser. Well, the laser, like, you have to be careful with the laser because you just start shooting all the bricks and you lose your focus and concentration. And uh, you can find yourself uh, too busy with the shooting. It's like a small wheel that you spin. Oh, so it's probably uh, what we call a paddle. And it's a great question. Like I said, I have my Atari 2600 paddles, but I don't think they will work with the Amiga. I was going to test them, but to be honest, I'm a little bit afraid to test them on my 1200 because I don't want to like blow out any CIA chips. <laughs> so I've got, I, I'm going to do some testing. I just don't want to try it with the 2600 ones because there's like two paddles connected to one nine pin. <laughs> oh man, I usually do much better than that. Um, the Amiga 1200 runs 100% of all the proper software. <laughs> nice, Yuri. Roof Third says, in the case of Star Wars, it's my favorite port, better than on MAME too. Oh, we're gonna play some Star Wars. You think the paddles will work, Amiga Love? Yeah, this this game really needs to be played with a spinner slash a paddle. Full Tank Arcanine is a lot of fun. It is a nice first level. Counselor says Arcanoid, legendary game, so simple, so damn hard. It's so true. I mean, of course, this is really a spiritual successor to Breakout. I used to play Breakout on my... Um, I had a special like Atari console that had like... It was basically just Breakout and Pong. It was awesome. Level skip, just need 32 more of those. Exactly. <laughs> The Geek Dude, I know those 2600 paddles are the ones where you have two paddles in, in one connector. I don't think that would work on the Amiga. I should, I should try. I'm just like a little bit afraid. I'm a little bit afraid to try it. It would be awesome if it works. Oh, Poetic says uh, spinners are not exactly like paddles, but they do the same thing. Got it. I wonder if I can use my CDTV trackball with Amiga 500. I bet you can, Counselor, because the CDTV is basically an Amiga 500 in a console. Spinners like paddles, but they work differently. Games like Arkanoid, Tempest, Tron use them. Oh, gotcha, Pixels. More like a cylinder that only works on one axis. Oh, okay, got it. Poetic. You tried that. I might try it on my on one of my 500s that's not working 100% correctly, so God forbid anything goes wrong. At least it's on a machine that's already flaky. Johan Wee, I also want an Amiga. Didn't get one while growing up since we had a PC. Not so cool back then. I think I still love my parents, though. Oh, yeah. Uh, Johan, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing your name wrong, but you can also emulate an Amiga really well. There's something called WinUAE. Um, you can get the ROMs from something called Amiga Forever. Um, so Amigas, you can get into Amiga by like pretty inexpensively by emulating it on a PC. You can also emulate it on a Raspberry Pi. Um, and we're talking about which Amiga to get, right? I think... Oh, good. I'm back in business with the CPU usage. Um, I think the 1200 in my, is my that's my personal favorite. But Vicky was saying 600. Other people were saying 500. The truth is, the truth is, they're all good. I know. Amiga Love would vote 1000. <laughs> Even though 1000 is like round 20, would I? Oh no. <laughs> I. Do you know what happens? I leaned like this and it went to round 20. That's hilarious. Brother Bill, you're trying the paddles on your 1000 right now. You're you are you are um, a brave man. Is it the 2600 paddles? The 600 is nice if you have um, small desk space. Yeah, the 600 is such a cool size. I love it. I, I don't want to continue. Amiga Love says today my favorite is the very early Amiga 3000 to be honest. Dual boots and was made that way in the factory. The 3000 is sweet. Dave Haney for the win, Amiga Love. Rule of Thirds has been talking about the AGA exclusives and how the the ECS will get you 99% uh, of the way anyway. It, the truth is most of the classics are OCS, ECS anyway. You know, that is the truth. Bitstorm, yes, you can you can uh, emulate on the Raspberry Pi, absolutely. 
The 500 plus changed your life. Fishbot, we, I gotta get my, my 500 plus working again. 600 is the sexiest, Amiga? It, it is sexy, I'm not gonna lie. I should just plug the mouse in and... I, I wanna go back to Marvel Madness with the mouse and just own it. <laughs> but I like to play it with the, the way it was intended. But I should I should get a paddle going. That's gonna be my, my job is to get a paddle going on Arkanoid. I'll figure it out. Cause I only have the 2600 paddles. But there are other paddles available. And I know some I know some don't work on the Amiga, because I know uh, the Amigos tried one. I don't know which one they tried, but it didn't work for them. Whichever specific one they tried didn't work, but I'm not saying that no paddles work. I'm sure there's paddles you can get to work for the Amiga. Because, like, this game, you know, you want paddles for Tempest. Even though there wasn't really a true Tempest for Amiga, I think there's, like, a... What, I forgot what they called it. But I love Tempest. Yeah, I'll take the laser. Why not? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, I couldn't keep up. Oh, man. Yo, Vamped Amiga, how's it going? Hey, Vamped Amiga, um, we had the pleasure of having a standalone Vampire V4 at the last WOG meeting. It was awesome. Oh, yeah, that's a good point, Captain John. Uh, Johan, yeah, Amiga, Amiga Live is amazing. Go to um, AmigaLive.com and you can you can uh, play some online multiplayer Amiga games and you can play them even single player if, uh, if you don't have any buddies online. It's, a, it's also a great place to start. That's a good, great point, Captain. Thank you. Ariori says the Amiga 600 breaks is, is a control method. He uses the additional numeric keys. Of course you do, Ariori, of course. The paddles don't work on... I have a feeling they won't work on uh, the 500 or 1200 either, Brother Bill. But thank you for the test. Thanks for reporting back. Yes, the 1200... I mean, the 600 does not have the numeric keypad, exactly. <laughs> I'm gonna play another round of this and then um, we'll do some Star Wars. I think Star Wars is gonna be really hard uh, without the mouse though. Alright, now this is my speed. This is my kind of Arkanoid right here. That was a tough one, but I, I had to go for the extension. The extension is, is a great uh, power-up anyway. My second favorite to the laser. Not a big catch fan. I'll take the extension any day. Of course, we used to call it something else when I was a, a, a little wise guy. <laughs> I was a young little wise guy in high school. Playing with my Amiga 500. Talking about the extensions. <laughs> Oh, see, I went, I went for the laser, and I should have stuck with the extension. I don't did. Was there ever an, Ar an Arkanoid with a trackball? I only remember it with the with the paddle or spinner, as as you guys are calling it. Oh, Captain John, you'll, Star Wars is a vector uh, graphic game on the Amiga, and it's, it's amazing. It's really good. Extension plus slow ball for the win, exactly. <laughs> Rule of Thirds almost went 30 years without thinking of that innuendo. You only saw it with a spinner in the arcades? Yeah, I've never seen it with a trackball. The arcade version of Arkanoid uses a trackball? No, I think it uses a... I don't think so. Marble Madness, yes, but the arcade version of... I thought used, um... Used the paddle, Brother Bill.
Yo, uh, Super Tech TV. Thank you so much for the follow. It is a pleasure. Yo, Kala, what's up, Kala? Great to see you. Thank you for the raid with a party of eight. Thank you, Kala. It is a, it's a pleasure to have you here. I hope, dude, Kala is an awesome streamer. And he's doing like, I don't know, how, he's playing like hundreds. He's literally doing like an Amiga game countdown of like hundreds of Amiga games. <laughs> Kala, don't mess around. Thank you so much for the raid. I appreciate it so much. It's a pleasure to see you. I hope your, your stream's been going awesome. Super Tech says, uh, very well done, Amiga channel. Oh, thank you, Super Tech. Uh, if you guys are just raiding now from Cal's stream, welcome. I hope you all had a great time over there. I know you did because Cal is an amazing streamer as well. Um, so I'm Bill. I stream Amiga stuff. I, my streams are kind of like half podcasts at the beginning and uh, half gameplay at the end. I love... Uh, they're kind of like, it's like a mix. I always start off my streams with saying hi to everyone because I have an amazing community of people um, that, that follow me. And I uh, and then we do some like Amiga news. And then today I showed some video from the Westchester Amiga user group meeting that we had on Saturday. I also gave a little sneak peek to uh, a video that I'm releasing on Monday on YouTube. It's youtube.com slash the guru meditation. My buddy Anthony and I interviewed Joe DeCure who was like the original Amiga engineer uh, along with Jay Miner. And he has lots of amazing info about the beginnings of the Amiga that he shared with us. So I'm gonna upload that. I'm gonna finish. I haven't finished editing yet. I'm gonna finish it over over the weekend, and I'm gonna upload it on Monday to uh, YouTube.com/slash/TheGuruMeditation. So I gave you guys a little sneak peek of that, and then uh, I busted out this trackball, and uh, we were playing some Marble Madness with the trackball, and uh, now we're playing some Arkanoid with the trackball, even though it's really a, a paddle game. Uh, we're gonna try some Star Wars next. Star Wars uses the mouse. Um, but we're gonna, I'm gonna stick with the trackball for now, just because I'm loving this Wyco trackball, and this is a modified trackball. If you look, uh, you can see it's got an extra button on it. It's like a right, a right mouse button, which is super cool. Because the old way to connect this trackball, uh, it's got a, a nine-pin mouse pass through on the uh, on the back there, and that's how you would have to use the uh, the right mouse button if you connect the mouse to it. Um, but this one's cool. It's got the, uh, it's got. A modified version. I wonder who modified it. Um, Tepius Strima. Thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate that very, very much. Um, Lord Shadowcaster. Thank you for the follow. Thanks for all the follows. I assume you're, you're uh, Super Tech TV again. Thank you for the follow. I assume you're all coming over from, from Kala's stream. Thank you so much for the, the raid, Kala. Um... You've just finished Syndicate. Oh, wow. Syndicate's one of my all-time favorites. I love Syndicate. I, I like to play cyberpunk games on Saturday nights, so uh, Syndicate is one of my go-tos. Saturday night cyberpunk, baby. <laughs> Rule of Third says Cal also has Star Wars in his plan. Definitely want to catch that one. Oh, I'll play some Star Wars now. Thank you, Captain John. Captain John, you're amazing, dude. Uh, Super Tech TV, I'm from New York, just outside of New York City. I'm 30 minutes uh, from New York City. and I, Oh, yeah, so that's the other thing. So I got this these streams that I do once a week. Um, I never know exactly when I'm going to stream because my job schedule changes every week. So, But I try and get in a stream once a week. Um, and I, you know, if you follow me on social media, I'll post when I'm going to stream 24 hours in advance. I know it's not ideal, but it's the best, the best I can do. I'm not a pro streamer <laughs> by any stretch of the imagination. But I do the streams. I got the YouTube channel with my buddy Anthony called The Guru Meditation. And uh, I also run the Westchester Amiga user group, which is a user group that's been meeting since uh, 1987 in, uh, in Westchester County, New York, uh, just north, 30 minutes north of New York City. We never stopped meeting and never will. We just had a, a big brouhaha on Saturday. It was a lot of fun. The trackball and super tech, this trackball is super, super, um, super smooth. It's super high quality. It feels like an arcade one. Johan, you're going to love Amiga Live. You, you will love it. And Johan, also, there's if you're on Discord, there's a great Amiga Live server um, that you can join, and people pick up games on the Amiga Live server on Discord. If you want to join my Discord, do exclamation mark Discord, and then I can link you to the Amiga Live Discord as well. Yeah, yeah New York, New York, USA. Lord Chowcaster left um, the 64 in the early 90s, partially because I was supposed to sell it to a schoolmate's brother. The 64 is great. I love the 64 too, uh, but I grew up mostly playing Atari 8-bit and then Amiga. I kind of followed the J Minor Joe DeCure path, even though I didn't realize I was doing it at the time. Alien Breed's awesome. 
Alien Breed is great. It's, and I, it's, it's on uh, Amiga Live. Yo, Tepius. What's up, Tepius? Great to see you. I'm sorry. The other thing I do is I pronounce people's names wrong a lot of times, so I apologize in advance. I'm Silly Billy. That's why you have the Silly Billy emote. <laughs> Oh, they decide not to buy the Commodore 64, Lord Shadowcaster. Got you. Got the 64 is a great computer too. New York, New York, baby, you know it. Super Tech. Oh yeah, uh, Counselor loves to play Rainbow Island and Wonder Boy and Monster Land and Zack McCracken. Those are those are great ones, Counselor. Um, you probably like Secret of Monkey Island as well. Oh, it must have been sad to return that 64, Lord Shadow. I know it is cruel, right? What acquiring device are you using? Um, right now, I am. I have um, Amiga RGB to SCART coming out of the back of the 1200, and then I've got a SCART to HDMI scaler, and then that SCART to HDMI scaler goes into a Black Magic capture card, uh, and then I've got a Magewell capture card, which is got. I got a video camera aimed at me, and that's going through a Magewell capture card. And then I've just got a regular old Logitech webcam for Amiga Cam. And for some reason, my, my CPU usage is high today. So there, if you look, there's like a delay on the overhead cam. It was working fine until I started resizing stuff on, on the screen. So um, I, it looks like the game play, the game's a little bit jerky too. So I apologize for that. You guys are getting a little ripped off. I'm sorry. <laughs> but I have to reset the stream to fix it. And I'm not going to do that because I can only stream for a little bit while longer anyway. Oh, Razer's first games uh, were Test Drive 2, Gian Sisters, and Zack McCracken. Nice. My first games were this one. I, well, not this one. Marvel Madness, Defender of the Crown, and Barbarian. Those are my first Amiga games. Fishbot says the Amiga community is super healthy, and he's 100% right. Who doesn't love Monkey Island? Exactly, Geek Dude. Exactly. <laughs> That's an easy one. <laughs> Yes, so Super Tech TV, I am playing. I, I this Amiga twelve hundred can switch between NTSC and PAL mode, um, and right now I'm in NTSC mode. This is the NTSC version of Arkanoid, but my capture card is set at thirty frames per second, so um, you're only seeing thirty frames per second. And like I said, my for some reason my CPU usage is high on this laptop today, so it's a little bit jerkier than usual. But yes, right now I'm uh, I'm NTSC. Ms. DK played Gianna Sister Special Edition uh, today on, on her stream. It was great. Oh, I didn't know you streamed, Ms. DK. Um, I got to follow you. Awesome. Ms. DK, I owe you that. You're still here. Thank you. I, I owe you that link as well. Oh, yeah. The Commodore 64 has some great games, Lord Shadow. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that happened to you. AJD Live, any overlays, bevels I can use? I've got, I've got, you mean for your stream? I've got tons. I mean, I make, I make all my own original because I like to, I like my streams to have all like my own original work. So everything you see there is like a uh, original Amiga Bill artwork. Like I, I made the, like that's actually my 1084S monitor with the, that you can see the, the pixels in the background. I, I made it all with my, my Canon 5D DSLR camera and Photoshop. This one, this is a good one here. You'll like this one. That's this 1200 right here. And my 1084S monitor, you can see it with the uh, with the bum, the bum door. But man, my, that, that thing is, my overhead cam is like way behind. Yikes. <laughs> brother Bill says, this is TOG, Twitch Amiga user group. You are so right, Brother Bill. Oh, right. Well, at least Lord Shadowcaster, at least you got to experience some Amiga. Yo, Bure Storm, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it very, very much, Bure Storm. Thank you so much. Vamped Amiga says, how about experiencing the standalone v V4? What did I feel? It was great, Vamped Amiga. I mean, I didn't get to play with it that long, unfortunately. Um, but it was cool. It was totally, you know, it's a different experience having it outside of an Amiga and having it inside an Amiga. I know even though people, some people like rag on the vampire because they're like, oh, the Amiga is just like a host it's just like a keyboard and input and outputs but when the vampire is inside of it it definitely feels different it still feels like you're using an amiga you know like who 
I don't really care that if it's just using it for keyboard and input output. It just it feels it feels cool with it inside the Amiga. I, you know, but the standalone is great too. I would like to put a standalone inside one of the new A1200 net cases, and then um, and that would feel that would feel pretty authentic to me as well. So yeah, it's cool. I, I like it all. You know. <laughs> Oh, there is a special edition Gianna Sisters Geek Dude. My friend Iraq uh, just made it. I think it was like last year. You're welcome, Super Tech TV. You stream in Danish? Oh, that's okay. The the game the unit the, the 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 language of the of Gianna Sisters or Amiga is universal. <laughs> The busted door is, too, is so real, Amiga Love. I, it broke when I was pulling it out of my my car. Thank you, Captain John. All right, cool. So let's play some Star Wars. And I need I need some beverages. Now Star Wars, I do need to boot up in PAL mode. So what I'm gonna do? Turn the sucker off. Uh, you hold down both mouse buttons. This is a modded Wyco trackball, so it's got a left mouse button and a right mouse button. Um, and then I go to display options and I go to PAL. So switching over to PAL mode. Because this is uh this Amiga is NTSC natively. Usually stream on Thursdays in Meager Commodore 64, depending on your program. Oh, cool. You made a full 3D graphics layout for both streams, built from the ground up. That's awesome, Miss DK. I never tried this. I never tried the shout out command. Someone did it to me. I think Hazemaker did it to me. Um, and Ash did it to me. Let me see if I can do it. Let's see. Out. Oh, it doesn't fill it in automatically. That stinks. I guess I guess I don't have a setup. <laughs> well, I'll follow you, Miss DK, and you should also follow Hazemaker and Ash said hi. Maybe maybe um, like the, the the command the exclamation mark shout out is a command, and then it links to your your Twitch stream, your Twitch channel. That's what it's supposed to do, but it didn't work so well. <laughs> You're all over the the purple Hazemaker. Okay, there you go. Oh. No problem, Ash. There she is. I Ash, I know Ash, you get, I'm saying thank you for giving me the shout out. Um, but did you how do you do that shout out command? Let's try S O I don't think it works. But anyway, yeah, you should follow Ash that high. She's super cool. Uh her dad's got an Amiga, she's really into Amiga, and we're gonna get her dad's Amiga rocking and rolling um for for her and him it's gonna be it's gonna be good we got another amiga an amiga another amiga shall live oh you did it in the night bot that's what okay that's what i have to do i thought i didn't know if that was like a built-in twitch command oh yeah hitch is another great streamer hitch is another good buddy of mine i've been on the i've been on the hitching post podcast and i've been uh on his streams a couple of times. Hitch is great. That's what that's what I love about Twitch. Is um, that's why I like having both YouTube and Twitch because I meet different communities of people, and I'm just I'm so psyched. Like without Twitch, I wouldn't have met the Purple Haze Maker or Hitch or Ash. Um, so I, I like having a little bit of both Twitch and YouTube, and I just stick to YouTube for the pre-recorded videos and Twitch for the streams. I've just been doing a lot more streaming lately because it's a lot more conducive to my lifestyle. No editing. <laughs> We're back on track. The computer caught up. So here's Star Wars. Great. I mean, this is an arcade game and a great, the Amiga version is just awesome. Hey, what's up, Poetic Android? Great to see you, Poetic. 
Oh, Ash, you're going. Uh, you're going. Okay, take care, Ash. Have a great time at work. And uh, yeah, we'll get your, we'll get you and your dad's Amiga cooking. I can't, I can't wait to rescue that Amiga. So we'll, we'll chat. Captain, are you heading out? Or is it just Ash who's heading out? Oh, that's all good, Miss DK. My, my place in the Amiga community is to help promote other Amiga users and to bring Amiga users together. That's like, I'm not, believe it, I'm not actually not an Amiga expert. I just know it through experience. And I know what I need to do, but I think my, my skill when it comes to Amiga is to like bring Amiga users together and run the user group and connect people if someone needs help with something and I don't know how to do it, I can connect them with someone who does. Run the user group, get people together, get these streams going, gather an amazing group of people to come to these streams. That's kind of like my place in the immediate community, I think. Um, flight instructions to Red 5. Your X-Wing is equipped with an invisible... I'm just going to play it then. <laughs> uh, sorry, Poetic. You could just click on the username and get the channel that way. That is a very good point, Poetic. I'm not. I'm not gonna. Not gonna deny that. <laughs> Red five standing by. Yeah, Vicky. The thing. I don't know. I. I like. I just like to have. I like to exist in both places so I can meet more people that way. But if you're trying to like build. But you know, if but YouTube, it's easier to get like more followers on YouTube, I think, because on Twitch, you pretty much, pretty much, like nine, like literally ninety percent of your followers come like when you're live. Where YouTube, you can still gain a lot of followers when you're not live, obviously, because the algorithm there is built for uh, pre-recorded videos. Um, so you can like, there's something to be said for just being all you know in one place. But I don't really, I don't care about how many followers I have. I just want to meet cool new people. How awesome is this? Use the force, shoot fireballs. So the mouse is a little bit faster, but I gotta say, so far, the trackball is treating me well on this game. I forgot how to drop. Man, I got owned, I got owned. Oh, Captain, Captain, Captain is leaving the bridge. Captain, thank you for being the mod with the most, my man. Please give Amiga Sons my best. Right on, Dancing Wolf. Welcome back, my man. Dan talk about great streamers. Dancing Wolf does amazing art streams. Vicky, you would love Dancing Wolf streams. Dancing Wolf is a great artist. He's here on Twitch. You gotta connect to people, you know what I mean, Fishbot? I met you because of this Twitch. Or is it Twitter? Or both? Flight instructions are from babies, exactly, rule of thirds. Your X Wing is equipped, get in now, exactly, Metal Dirt Monkey. Hang on, R2. <laughs> yeah, Johnny, this trackball is amazing. These training courses are getting short nowadays. <laughs> Funny, Metal Dirt. Use the Amiga Force, you know it, DJ Billy Nest. It's very similar to the Arcade Fishbot. Remember to go up and down to avoid those on the Death Star. Amiga Love knows this game really well. Rule of Thirds played it before ever seeing any Star Wars movie, probably five years old. Oh, wow. This game seems balls, track balls. Hilarious. My friend Tony is texting me now. Tony, I met him at Vintage Computer Festival East. Met me through YouTube. Great guy. It's the white, so I shoot the right white rectangle on the floor. Bitstorm says, it looks like this version runs better than the arcade version. Not sure about the trumpet, though. <laughs> uh, no problem, Captain. Uh, Metal Dirt Monkey, who was the lady and her dad you said to follow? It's Ash. Ash says hi. Ash streams a lot of retro stuff. We, we, she's not streaming any Amiga right now because her dad's Amiga is broken. But when we fix her dad's Amiga, she'll be streaming Amiga. I will I will get her up and running so we can have another stre Amiga streamer here on Twitch. Red 5 standing by. Red 5. Oh, oh, I went to medium. I'm going easy first. <laughs> 
So, Amiga Love, should I be shooting like the spinners or should I go right for the TIE Fighters? I feel like I should be shooting the spinners. Oh, here we go into the Death Star. I took some hits there. Oh, my shields are at seven. Oh man, I'm getting owned. Oh, I missed it. Ash says hi, just subscribed. Ash, thank you so much for the subscription. You don't have to do that. I appreciate it so much, Ash. <laughs> thank you for the subscription. That's the other thing is I never asked, never. Oh, Brother Bill gifted a sub to Ash. Thank you, Brother Bill. Thank you. Ash is, uh, we're going to get her up and running with her dad's uh, Amiga. I'm totally psyched for it. I hope R2-D2's batteries aren't corroded. Yeah, like, like the Varda battery on my 500 plus calor. <laughs> that was the bad news. I don't need instructions, just use the force. It's hilarious. Nice metal dirt. Awesome. I'm glad you followed her. Hey, what's up, Mr. Cola? Mr. C, Mr. Cola, another great streamer. And, and land party, captain of the land party, Mr. Cola. He sets up land parties of like hundreds of people. It's incredible. Oh, rule of thirds is dodging works better sometimes. Got it. Your dad's got tons of games. Oh yeah, Ash, we gotta we gotta rock it out. Bitstorm during the tunnel bit, I found it much easier to dodge the shots than to shoot him. Oh great, thank you guys for the the, the tips there. I had my nephew play Star Wars on the Amiga a couple weeks back. You did slightly better than him at least. <laughs> well, he's young, man. He should play it better than me. Shoot their shots, then try to sneak in a shot to blow them up. On the Death Star, you can avoid a lot of the shots with exaggerated movements up and down. It's hard It's hard to exaggerate your movement with this track walk. It's buttery smooth. Mind racks. Good times. Awesome. Awesome. Welcome, mind racks. You've been playing this on the 800XL? Nice, Brother Bill. I, 800XL is Amiga Bill approved. Sometimes Vader ship will show up. Oh, nice. You can follow Vader when he tries to go off the screen. No way. Red five standing by. Yeah, we gotta get Anthony back up here, brother Bill. He would have had a great time. This was a really good meeting we had this 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 uh, Saturday. It was it was awesome. <laughs> Oh man, I thought I had that one. I gotta say, even though it is fun to play this game with the mouse. I mean with the trackball. Oh nice, I was able to take out that TIE Fighter. Alright, so here we go. We're gonna dodge, we're gonna shoot and dodge. I like the dodge technique. <laughs> I'm not dodging them very well though. Dodge technique is good. If you if you actually dodge it. Game over. Shield's gone. That was that was terrible. That, that was a terrible effort right there. Oh, killing Vader is is the key because it's worth two thousand points. Got it. Vader just did a flyby. Did I miss it? You can keep hitting Vader when he goes in, even when he's quite small. I missed Vader. You got uh, got you, Mr. Cola, on there as well. Yeah, Metal Dirt Monkey definitely subscribed to Mr. Cola. He's awesome. Use the mouse, Luke. It is easier with the mouse. Pixel says you're meant to dodge around him, not into him. <laughs> fair point. Fair point. 
I did not use the force. Seems fast. Mr. Cole is going to QuakeCon. Nice. That sounds amazing. I'm tempted to use the mouse, but you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm taking the, I'm gonna take the trackball to the finish line today. I'm glad my CPU usage is back down. It makes no sense. Like, I don't know why my CPU usage went so high and that camera went on a delay and now it's fine. So weird. Streaming is weird. Also, when I use the Rish 2 with the laser mouse, I feel like it's cheating a little bit, you know? Oh, oh, oh. I think they have uh, Star Wars at Barcade. Did I miss it? Is there a different Amiga Love? Is there like a different button I'm supposed to use or something to to, to shoot the uh, the vent? Oh, QuakeCon is the largest land in the United States. Nice. Just pretend it's Empire Strikes Back. Vader's supposed to win. Hilarious. <laughs> Same button. You're not hitting it? Okay, I'll try. I'll keep missing it. Of course I do. <laughs> it's a really hard game, Geek, dude. You want to aim right below the horizon line? I was try again. There we go. Oh, there is that. Is that Vader? I'm just like I'm just like a beat slow with the trackball. There he goes. Yeah, I I got a hit in on Vader. All right, let's see if I can use the force here. I'm really good at, at ramming the, the, the fireballs. If this game was like dodgeball, I'd be ace, you know? Boom! Boom! Who gave me the tip to shoot under the horizon? That was a great tip. That's how I did it. Oh, I'm starting to sweat. <sighs> Pull trigger. Oh, nice. Dude, we get, we blew up the Death Star. That That's a W right there. <laughs> tell Obi-Wan. <laughs> Obi tell Obi-Wan, don't tell you how to live your life. Hilarious. I did use the Force. No time to celebrate incoming. Hilarious. Advice from the world record roller can't hurt. Nice. Maybe the WHD load is playing really fast. The top left gun for the X-Wing isn't rendering? Oh, interesting. I'll have to look again. Oh, wow. 6 o'clock. I'm going to play one more round, and then I'm going to call it a stream, everyone, unfortunately. Um... My wife is gonna stream in like an hour and uh, I need to finish up some items for my job tomorrow. Which I need to wake up at 3.30 a.m. for. Not looking forward to that. I'm gonna pass out on the train tomorrow. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be out like a light on that train. I'm gonna have to carry like a camelback of, of Red Bull with me tomorrow. Yeah, yeah.
it does look like the upper left um, laser isn't rendering. Oh, I thought I had that sucker. Oh. Missed it. <laughs> yeah, three thirty a.m., Mr. Cole. It's, it's a brutal one. I'm gonna. I, I have to go to bed like soon. Your fourteen megahertz, twelve hundred, maybe making it slightly faster than the original. I thought the, the WHU load is supposed to account for that, but <laughs> Captain John, no problem, buddy. No problem at all, Captain. Sleep well. Please tell Amiga Sons I said hello. It's always a pleasure to have you, Captain. Ash, no problem. Ash, yeah, message me, Ash, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end the stream soon. I'm going to end it like now, pretty much, Ash. Great having you, and we'll get your Amiga 500, your dad's Amiga 500, going. I appreciate you, Ash. Keep up the great work with the streams. Yeah, Bitstorm, I think there's some something weird and wacky happening with that render. I think it's like a, a buggy WHD load. Yo, take care, Razor XG. Yeah, DJ Billy Nest, I do, I do have an O30 on here. I'm just gonna throw on some tunes and then uh, we're gonna, we're gonna, I'm just gonna call it. Cause I gotta uh, got a lot of stuff to do. Thanks everyone for hanging out today. It's just been it's been awesome. Let's see, we don't need the large screen for this. Uh oh yeah, it's, it's hot in here. My brain starts to malfunction. Uh, what am I doing here? Ch -ch 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 -ch. Hippo player. That's what I'm looking for. Let's add some sweet tunes from my main man DJ Billy Nest. A little Mortimer twang. Load them all up. Acid jazz sounds good right about now. Acid flower. That sounds nice. Let's play some acid flower. Very nice, DJ Billy Nest. Fishbot, thank you for, for being here. The Geek Dude, I wish my wife streamed Amiga. Uh, right now she's doing like an interview with someone about some like stuff. <laughs> some psychological stuff. But she's going to do some cooking streams. I want to get her, uh, like, literally cooking on Twitch. Um, she used to do a lot of them. She's just, uh, she just finished her teaching job in June, so she's just kind of, like, recalibrating now. And then in the fall, she's going to start doing a lot of cooking streams, so it'll be fun. She's really good at her cooking streams. I can't wait for them to come back. I'll let you know when, when uh, she comes back. Mr. Cola, it's always a pleasure to have you. I'm sorry, I, I really wanted to make your stream yesterday, but I couldn't. Dancing Wolf, it's always a pleasure to have you, my man. It's great to see you. Guys, don't, don't forget. Monday, the new Guru Meditation video drops, Joe DeCure 2.0. It's all about the, the early beginning of the Amiga and how he and J Minor uh, started Amiga and all, how they carried stuff over from, um, what well, their two other people started Amiga, and how they started, uh, how they ported stuff over and improved on the Atari 8-bit, putting the Atari 8-bit lifeline into the Amiga 1000. It's going to be a great interview. I showed you a sneak peek of it earlier in the stream. Um, but I'm really happy with the way it's coming out. I actually had to do some nifty editing to make it all work because I took some of Anthony's video and some of my friend Marcus's interview and put them both together to make one cohesive story. <laughs> Amiga Love. My man, it was lit. Nice Amiga Love. I, Amiga Love, I, I can't wait. I, I need to get out to the West Coast and, uh, and meet you in person. I need, I need some uh, Pacific Northwest in my life, okay? Pixels, thank you. Thank you so much. Looking forward to next Wednesday. Aw, oh, you're too kind, Pixels. It'll be either be Tuesday or Wednesday. So stay tuned, Pixels. Thank you so much. Andy Amiga likes the cooking streams. Nice. The cooking streams with me and Anthony were hilarious. She put us to work. You'll throw down the green carpet? Nice. Yeah, I, I will come back out there, uh, Amiga Love. Yo, Andy Amiga7, thanks for being an amazing member of WOG. It's always a pleasure to have you, my man. 
Uh, sorry, no meeting tonight, but hopefully this this uh, filled the void. So check it out. We'll do a raid. This I never met this guy. His name is Shallon Fifty K. But I was I was in Hazemaker's stream uh, yesterday, and Hazemaker said that he's a rad dude. And right now he's saying let's dissect the Commodore sixty four game. So he does like hardcore coding streams, hardcore like assembly language coding streams. So Shallon doesn't know me or know who I am, but we'll go give him a raid anyway. So give him a warm welcome, everyone. Thank you so much. For, uh, for hanging out today. It was just an absolute pleasure. Huge thanks to Sir Lucas from Ready Retro One for giving me like the whole lot of amazing, amazing goodies. Of course, huge thanks to Sanzian from thefutures8bit.com for the 50 pound gift certificate to Westchester Amiga User Group. Uh, thanks to Retrobench, Retrobench building a new Amiga 1200 for me. Not new, but you know, recapping the 1200 for me. Uh, and always gives me uh, tons of support as well. Um, I'm so lucky to have so many great people and thank all of you. Thanks to everyone who followed today. Thanks to everyone who subscribed today. I never ask people to subscribe. This is just a place for people to come hang out. No need to ever subscribe. No pressure ever. This is just about hanging out with my friends. Um, but when you do subscribe, I'm going to I'm gonna make a donation to the Amigos podcast for their Amigathon that's coming up, coming up at the end of this month. So we'll make a nice donation to some kids who are unfortunate and uh, can't afford health care. So it's going to be it'll, for a good cause. Vicky is always a pleasure. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe he does know who I am, Miss DK. You're funny. <laughs> Thank you, DJ Billy Nest. Uh, and, I'm, and I'm glad you had a great, a great uh, meeting today. Oh, Vicky, I would, I would love to see that. Vicky, post that up on, on, on Twitter. I want to see it. Thank you, Geek Dude. Thank you so much for the kind words. I appreciate it. Thanks, DJ Billy Nest. Andy Amiga Seven, you rock. Mr. Cola knows Shallon. Nice. He's a good dude. Awesome, Mr. Cola. Sweet. Oh, good night, Ash. I'll talk to you soon, for sure. The Yule Ham. Oh, yeah. The Yule Ham definitely uh, counts, Ariary. Thanks, everyone, for hanging out today. Fishbot, thank you for all the positive vibes. Fishbot, you always make me really happy. Thank you, Ariary. Thanks, thanks for being here, and thanks for being the official Amiga Bill mascot. Thanks for hanging out, Vicky. I'm sorry I haven't caught your streams lately. Tomorrow I'm working again, Vicky. I'm not going to make it home in time for your stream. I'm sorry. Johnny from Amiton TV, the original Amiga stream machine. It's always a pleasure. Rolls, nice to meet you. Thank you, Rolls. Poetic, thank you so much, Poetic Android. Super Tech, uh, thank you for your uh, spectacular streaming about Amiga World. You're a special man. Oh, Super Tech. No, I just do it for fun. I'm, I'm nothing special. Thank you. But thank you for the kind words. I appreciate it very much, Super Tech. Thank you for the follow. Great to meet you today. Amigathon is a week from Sunday. Oh, a week from Saturday. Oh, but it's like 24 hours, so it's a week from Saturday and Sunday. I'll be there. Oh, Miss DK, I, need, I owe you a link. Hold on. I owe you a link. Let me see if I can find it really quick. Do I have it? I should have it. See, if I was smart, I would have it. Let me see if I can find it really quick. LemonAmiga.com. Oh, you know what it is? It's like, I think the way Lemon works, you can't actually, let's see, let's go to the Lemon. Uh, News Games Lemonade Forum. Games. See, I can't link to it. I'll show you. Hold on. Miss DK, I'll show you how to do it. I can't really give you a link. So check it out. Just go to lemonamiga.com. Uh, let's go to lemon. Lemonamiga.com. And then you click up here on forum. Click on forum. And then you, then you click on games. And right here, it shows you the games released in 2019 index. And there's one for 2018 as well. So that's the best spot to learn about the new games. Oh, you, you were able to link to it somehow. That's awesome. <laughs> there you go. That's the one I was thinking of. Uh, channels I follow. Let me go find that guy again. There he is, Shallon. 
All right, we'll give Shannon a raid, and uh, and that's it. Thanks everyone for hanging out. If you want to know when I stream, I got my eye on next Tuesday or next Wednesday. Follow me on social media, Twitter, uh, uh, Twitter, Twitter.com slash the Guru Meditate, um, Facebook.com slash the Guru Meditation. New Guru Meditation video drops on YouTube Monday, YouTube.com slash the Guru Meditation. Thanks for everyone for hanging out today. It's time to take it to the hot tub. Air Yuri, keeping it hot in the tub as always. See everyone next week. Thank you so much for watching, and Amiga forever. Just for 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 just